Storage is not allowed. I am not allowed a bank. However, if we bought a house, the house could function as our storage. Followers are allowed. They are allowed, although we, I made a few tweaks. Normally we don't use followers on these challenges. Today we're gonna allow followers. However, I have a mod installed that gives the followers a chance to die. The followers, if they go down to a knee, I believe a dice rolls and it's possible that they will die and be gone and dead forever. Usually a follower only dies in Skyrim via friendly fire or you know, some kind of ridiculous sequence plays out where they do end up taking damage while downed. It's very rare that a follower will go down to a knee and then die. I can't use them as mobile storage, so I can't just stuff stuff into their inventory. However, if I find a really good weapon and I use my inventory slot for that one weapon, I can trade with the companion. Yes, gold does not count, so we'll be able to use gold. My goal is that if we die, we respawn and the item that we had, the item or stack of items we had in our one inventory slot will drop on that spot. The goal? I don't know. I have no clue what the goal is. No idea. Can we complete a quest? Can we complete all the quests? Can we kill a dragon? Most likely. I think that stuff would be on the table and possible. Okay, we are going to go Khajiit. We're gonna get a buff to our unarmed damage. Also, we haven't played a Khajiit in a while. Single lady? <laughs> I kinda like single lady. I mean, if we're referring to Beyonce. Solo pocket. <gasps> pocket. Out of pocket. I like out of pocket. I do, I do like out of pocket. That's really good. Out of pocket. It just keeps evolving. So here's the way it works. If I hold down the safety key, I can grab something. It will automatically equip equipables as well. Oh, great. We're going to be a naked Khajiit the entire time. That means everybody's going to be making lewd comments. Keep it in your pants and be mature, chat. Oh, yeah, this is what happens. If, if we are not allowed to pick it up, it will just drop it right back down. We have to hold down the safety key in order to actually pick something up. Oh, we're not going to be wearing boots, by the way, for the entire run, so you better get used to the feet splapping on the ground. Oh, 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 no, 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 let's not die right off the bat. Oh my god. Easy, easy, we just got to dodge the two-hander. I'm a lot stronger than I gave myself credit for. Oh god, food. Food is going to be a nightmare. Oh, no! Oh, we gotta go, it's a whisper. He's gonna shoot really fast. Yeah, I'm gone. I am out of there. Oh, wait, loot. No, that, oh wait, did Rayloff kill him? Rayloff, you beautiful bastard. Here's how we're gonna have to eat. Directly from their pockets. Werewolf is actually, uh, that's not a terrible idea. Doesn't take up an inventory slot, incredibly powerful. We're gonna need to get the tower stone eventually. But for now, I'll go with the mage stone. Do the dawn guard, but go full vampire. That, I think that's what I want to do. What is the Forsworn doing here? No, 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 no. This is the level one cave. You don't. It's a Forsworn axe as well. Oh my lord, this is overpowered. The Khajiit hand to hand might be broken. How much you want to bet I get a disease here? Feels like I'm a glutton for it. How many times? What, what is it? What is it about this game? I can sense it. I can just, I can sense it. It just knows. All right, we took some damage. So while we're on the road, we can do some of this. This is how we heal out on the road. We just collect flowers and we eat them. Stimulant perk of the alchemy tree. When you use a beneficial potion or ingredient, you regenerate 2% of your magicka and stamina per second for 30 seconds. We could take that perk. See? That right there, chat? That's a good ass suggestion. We need more of that. So that would mean if we're in the middle of a fight, if we can spy Mora Tapinala, red mountain flower, purple mountain flower, blue mountain flower, 
any of those basic stock standard beneficial potion ingredients, if they are on the battlefield, they are in play. It's essentially a replacement for potions. And All right, I've step one. To to we need a servant. Do we take Sven? Do we take Feindal? They're both dweebs. I, I feel like we landed on this. We landed on this. Oh, what are we going to do about the letter? It's only one quest item. Although I, I feel uncomfortable parting with my armor. Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. I love that. You know, you got to love a guy who's so dedicated to the pussy that he will interrupt his concert to talk to a complete stranger. Like he's up there rocking it. Da -na -na -da -na 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 gold he had made. Feindel thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius, that son of a bitch. The item you just received is a quest item. Do you want to keep it? So if I keep it, what happens to my armor? I better get going. Oh my God, it takes the armor off. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so cool. So we can keep keys, but the letter. Okay, so this is his fake letter. Dear Camilla, I know I have called upon you at your house many times, and while we may be growing close, I need you to put any desires you may have for me aside. I'm a true son of Valenwood, and I can never befoul my bloodline by courting an imperial. I hope we can remain true friends, provided you understand <laughs> your people's place in the Aldmeri Dominion and respect me as such. That's so funny. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Honestly, that one made me laugh way more than Feindel's fake letter, so we're gonna go with Sven. Plus, on the bright side, Sven can die. What is this? Is this what he really thinks about me? Well, you can tell that, that long-eared ass not to come around the store anymore. I came here from the Imperial province to work with my brother, Lucan. Yeah, no, I gathered that from the letter insulting you. All right, Svenny boy, time for you to sacrifice yourself for my success. Now that's what I like to hear. Now that you finally have an opportunity to court your lover. Lead the way. Let's get out of town. Let's leave her behind so that the only person she can hang out with now is Feindal. All right, now it's going to get a little bit weird. I'm probably going to want to try and steal some food. But the food that sits on the counter, we can't eat off the counter. It has to go into our inventory in order to eat it. The easiest way to eat is out of a container containing food. Wrap your head around all that nonsense. Fishing is off the table. Can't do fishing. Let's team up real quick with this wolf. And we can just eat directly from the inventory of the elk. That is huge. Okay, so Sven is pathetic. He's got a bow. He's got a dagger. We probably want to focus on... Upgrading Sven's inventory. Wait a minute. No, we want him to die, don't we? Get Uthgird while you're here. She is way better. I don't know if I agree with that simply because if we take Uthgird, she is going to die at a certain point. Wouldn't we rather have Sven for these early offerings? Build up maybe a bank of followers. We also have to get rid of our disease. We have just enough gold. Let's do it. I always forget to get rid of my disease. Not today. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Sorry, hold on. Do you mind? Hey, could you hand the bounty over to me? I didn't quite get to read it. Well, I can still read it. Ma'am? Hold on, hold on. This is a really devious paper cut. Is anybody in chat a surgeon? She took damage. Yeah, we're going to eat all these fish out of the barrel. We just got to sneak around. Good job, Sven. Keep your head down. Stay out of sight. It only restores two points of hunger if it's not cooked. Okay, so raw meat is not going to help us out that much. Is there any one ingredient recipe? They're all two ingredients. Leek! Ah, grilled leek. It's only 18 points of hunger. Shit. Okay, the only thing we can cook is grilled leek. Get married and get them to cook for you. That's such a good idea. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is, this is hard. We have to start. I think we have to start writing down some of the things that we need to unlock in this game to progress short-term goals get married find oven oven just lets you bake potatoes okay all right that's huge okay so getting access to an oven requires hearth fire huh that doing it through hearth fire though feels way more exciting and way cooler than mirror watch you won't be able to build a hearth fire home without holding more than one thing at a time. Shit, you're right. Wait, baked potatoes are worse than 
Are they? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. All of that just to realize that they suck. One solution is we do our adventuring, we end up becoming hungry, we journey all the way back to an inn and do some inventory manipulation to buy food. That's one answer, although it's not as exciting and we're gonna be able to save so much time if we figure out something. Oh, cannibal! What? Duh, I, I literally thought about this earlier. We have to become a cannibal. Don't you need the ring though? I have stated in the rules, shut up, we're talking about, we're game planning here. I have stated in the rules that I'm not allowed to store items on my companion. However, I am allowed to upgrade that follower's gear. Now you tell me, is the ring of Namira not an upgrade to said companion? Could you spare a coin? Not right now. It's an upgrade. I think Sven as a cannibal is more dangerous than Sven as a bard. Does vampirism restore hunger? Feeding as a vamp does restore hunger. I've also never really played much vampire on the channel. And true, we can only become a werewolf once a day. For the early game, let's try vampire. If it totally sucks, we can audible and go werewolf. What's the fastest way to contract vampirism though? Broken Fang Cape, Morthal. Yeah, you're right. We only have 11 gold. That's not enough to get us to Morthal in one trip. Let's get a little bit of gold, make some money, do some of the early game shenanigans. I should probably do BFB. Did you hear something? Yikes, yikes, was not ready for that. That did a ton of damage early. Sven, go tank. No. Oh my God, I'm so close to dying. All right, one down, keep it up, Sven. Can't take a hit here. Holy shit, he's doing execution moves. They teach you that at Bard College? Hey. Take a deep breath, relax. Main character. No, don't give me that look. Sven? Okay, thank God he's here. Uh, Sven, careful. No. Sven, 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 you okay? Don't die on me. We can't lose you right away. That arrow kills me. Oh, that was close. Oh! I about walked right into it. Yeah, he's good. He's good. You can't kill Sven. Didn't even have to use his sword. That's how cool Sven is. Dude, not cool. Oh, I forgot how powerful the mud crabs are for some inexplicable reason. I'm just gonna let him take care of it. You got this, Sven. Are you serious right now? He can't hit him. He hey, he keeps swinging horizontally. He's not gonna hit it. I couldn't. I could barely even hit him. Go cast your fancy magic someplace else. Oh. Why are they so discouraging? Just once, I'd like to hear a guard say, Whoa, is that lightning? Yeah, that's sweet. I have a cousin who's really into magic. Don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. Here's the bounty. Fast healing is 291. Damn. It's, com it's really not advantageous, but I'll take it. Sven, we're keeping you alive, buddy. Probably Magicka? I mean, yeah, I invested in healing hands. I'm going to have to go Magicka. And our first perk is going to go on Restoration. Ooh, there's missives. What do we got on the board? Deliver potion to Riverwood. You know what? Why not? Collect Arcadia's potion for Feindal. I'm here for the delivery job. Of course. I love that. It just drops right there. Arcadia's potion for Feindal. Okay, this should be pretty easy. Sven, you can cover us while I do the deliver. Oh, fuck. How do I get it through the loading screen? Wait, hold on. This armor is a direct upgrade. It's a direct upgrade for Sven. We give him. Oh, God. Now I have to look at his nipples. Stop it. All right, back to Riverwood. How pissed off is Feindal going to be? Will he be happy with us after we bring him his potion? Whatever potion he did. What did he? What kind of potion is he get? Oh my god. 
He's getting a Jaren root potion for himself after Camilla broke his heart. Fangdal, oh. don't do it. Oh yeah, look at, look at this. In his goofy ass, after everything you've yeah, done. yeah, yeah, in his nerdy little outfit versus Conan the fucking barbarian over here. Ugh. It's gonna be cold up here, I'm naked. Probably gonna freeze to death. I don't know if I wanna fight the bandits on the outside of BFB though. I might just run directly inside. Oh my fudging frick. This is really bad. Okay, we have to rely now on Sven to win this fight. I've got no stamina. Oh no. Stay up, buddy. Stay up. That's why I love you, Sven. I think Sven has enough to win that fight. Oh God, he's not gonna be able to hit them while they're crouched. Nice, okay, two down. Push him, Sven. Why are you shooting? Nice, he's got the aggro. My guy, you are a champion. Of course it was necessary. You saw how much damage you took. I'm helping. I'm frostbitten. What does that mean? Is that like a disease? It's a 24 hour debuff. Damn. Oh man, that was close. Oh man, bad. Sven, Sven. Look at him. He's transformed from a weak bard into a full-time warrior. That was, Jesus Christ, close shave. I'm stuck. Get, what in the f This isn't fun anymore. Sven gets to have all the fun. I don't get to do nothing. He's not even in any danger. Okay, so frostbite only affects lockpicking, pickpocketing, and bows. I have a really stupid idea. All right, we'll take the scroll here. We'll carry it along as best we can. Don't go under the map, please. We'll carry the scroll along whoop, over here. I think scrolls might be somewhat viable on this run. Okay, scroll out in the room. Equip the scroll. Throw the armor back on and hide. We gotta make sure he lives. You're all right, you're all right, keep pushing. You should try actually hitting something though. Cause you're not hitting it, there you go. Shit, he's taking a lot of damage. That's all right, that's gonna be a really good source of restoration XP. Hmm, now it's interesting. We have to take the Golden Claw. I really wanna carry Arvel. <laughs> it's gonna take so long. Yeah, he's not gonna move all that much unless we like strip him, which did we technically, wait a minute. I'm an idiot. Why would I carry Arvel? I can carry the claw. Yes, yes. Okay, the play style is all starting to come together. And now we can weaponize the golden claw. Damn it, that would have been so cool. That would have been awesome. That was a perfect, oh shit, Sven. No, he's down. Oh my God, I completely forgot about him. Don't die, don't die. Don't let this be the end. If he dies here, I'll never forgive myself. I cannot, I cannot believe it. I think that's the biggest choke I've ever had in my life. That's the biggest choke You're that visitor been poking around. I've ever had. I didn't really have much to lose, but yeah, we did lose our armor. And the worst of it all, Sven's still alive. We still have to adventure with him. Just have to get back to Bleak Falls. At least we spawned somewhat close. Shit, okay, we got an injury there. Decreases health, magicka, and stamina by 25. How long does that injury last? This sucks. <laughs> this this challenge already sucks. Sven is 100% the main character. All right, you know what? Sven won't be for that long. You guys gotta remember, we, we do this with every challenge. We start off meek, but eventually we get, you know, over the hump. We start kicking ass. Sven is our servant, okay? He is not our friend. He is our underling. He is a weapon. He is as much to me as a sword. That's it. Our relationship begins and ends at killing things. Is that the golden... Oh my gosh, why is the golden claw, it respawned all the way back here. 
I saw it like out of the corner of my eye. All right, now after all that nonsense, I'm not gonna blow it this time. We're back. We get a second chance. We never often get a second chance. Sven, you're in the way of my shots. What is he doing? Yeah, Sven's the main character. Sven's the main guy. How many hits did he land there? Tell me, tell me. Who did more damage there, me or Sven? I'm gonna show him up right here. I'll show you who the main character is. Please, Sven, protect me. Ah, yikes. Oh, God. Okay. I'm gonna kick it to the other room. Bro. Bro! No, Sven! Why? 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 You fucking idiot! Why would you do that? What in the what in God's name is wrong with you? Alright, let's look on the bright side. Sven is now dead. I have hardly any health to get through the rest of Bleak Falls Barrow. And my healing spell is completely useless. Hmm, this won't be easy, but I think we can do it. I got this. We're gonna be alright. That won't kill him. Fuck yeah, DRG. We gotta level up. We're gonna go back to the beginning of the cave. Oh my god. Oh, I about stepped on the trap because I was... <laughs> oh, my skin was crawling for a second there. I'm gonna go health. This is good though. We finally have another perk. Immediate need, destruction. Sometimes it's just best to take what we need right now. In the moment, yeah, having a little bit more lightning is gonna help. It's gonna keep us out of danger. We do have to get the claw through one loading screen. So we'll have to drop our armor, pick up the claw, go through the loading screen, drop the claw, go back through the loading screen, pick up our armor, go back through the loading screen, and then carry the golden claw. I love this participation. I love when the droggers are just on my side. You know, every now and then you get a drogger who decides this guy's had a rough time already. Let's help him out a bit. And I gotta love that. Where, where's my hit? Where's my damage? Where's my, my clear, I'm in the zone that, that connects. I don't know why I don't get that. I hate this game. Yikes. Oh, no shot. He actually got that hit in on me. Oh my God. Come on, there we go. Whew, that was close. I mean, I think we have pretty much all the Draugr taken out. I think we can take him out. Our hand-to-hand -hand is actually doing quite a lot of damage because of the buff we have as a Khajiit. I wanna go for it. I'm not scared. <gasps> Unless my loose armor decides to kill me. Okay, we'll leave the Golden Claw here. Come pick it up after the fight. Oh my God, my armor is gonna kill him. My armor is actually gonna kill me. How much health do I have? Four. This is a really stupid idea. Let's do it. Let's beat his ass. I think we can deal a significant amount of damage before he even gets out of the cage. Cave. Tomb. Whatever the hell he's in, I don't care. I'm dead. No. Oh my god. I fought him for way too long. I should have bailed knowing that I wasn't going to be able to deal the damage to put him down to a knee. The second mistake I made, I ran away in a straight line. I didn't put enough space between himself and me to block that first shout. I knew that he was going to get the first shout off. It's always the first move he pulls. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to leave the armor behind. Why? Does this... Oh my god. I... I hate this game. I hate this game. I kind of fucking nailed that note. That. That sucked. <laughs> that actually sucked so hard. No, I, I deactivated the trap the first time. 
it reactivates when you go back through the dungeon. I'm... I literally fucking hate this game. I, I think I got the yips. I think I, I just have the yips. I can't get through the simplest trap. But come on. How are you missing? They don't understand that I'm hungry. They don't. That was such an aggressive punch noise. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Oh my god, this is gonna take me all the way to Whiterun. It's gonna take me four hours to get through Bleak Falls Barrow. We need a follower. Yeah, we could get another follower. Oh, let's do it. You know what? Let's get another follower real quick. You know what's gonna happen right now? I'm not gonna have enough gold. Oh, I have just enough gold. <laughs> Perfect. 100 gold, exactly. Look at that damage. I mean, that's great. That's the fastest ass kicking I've ever given out in that fight. You're fashionably late. No, you're just on time. We're about to go do uh, Bleak Falls Barrow. I haven't gone there yet, so, you know, we might as well just clear it off the checklist. All right, she's not even following me. <laughs> yeah, that easy. Fuck you, door. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. If you die to that trap, you're a loser. If you cannot get past that trap, you are pathetic. You are not a gamer. All right, above all else, you are no gamer. I'm just really tired of everybody making fun of me for going through the going through the trap. It really hurts me when, when you make fun of me for sucking ass at this game. Fuck this game, dude. It's not, I'm not crying, I'm serious. <laughs> really it's really hard, this is a really hard puzzle. It's really fucking hard. Ah, no, no, it didn't sprint, what the fuck? Why? I, uh, I quit. I fucking quit. No way. Oh my god. I fuck you. It didn't sprint. I'm clicking the thing. It didn't go. Ah, Uthgard, you're here. Huh. All right. We're through. We are not dead. I forgot the the boss isn't gonna be, he's not gonna be in his tomb anymore. He's been waiting here for like the last three hours waiting for a rematch. Uthgird, you got this, you, you can handle this, right? I'm not even risking it. I want, no, no, it's not happening. Uthgird, you got this, come on. Go right on ahead. How much damage does that do? I'm already, wait a minute. How am I already down to 20 health? Oh. Oh God, she's actually getting really hurt. All right, I will leave the golden claw here. Wait, no. I need to make it easier to retrieve. <clears throat> Run free, golden claw. Oh, that actually landed nicely. Okay, we can kill two birds with one stone here. We're gonna walk the golden claw to Riverwood. Riverwood to Whiterun, turn in the dragon stone. Quest complete. One quest down, we got one on the board. Now another quick journey over to Whiterun and we're off to the races. Dragonstone, here you go, buddy. Maybe we take a look at spells. Cause we have 650 gold. I like fast healing the most. I do not know. So I will highlight it as red. It's complete, we did it. Bard's College Training, the perform ability. <laughs> Should we grind a speech by just playing a, uh, a tune? All right, so short term goal right now. Manually walk to solitude, get some training in on the way to minute. My skills are still incredibly debuffed because I haven't leveled up yet. We got to get rid of that. I got to figure out a way to level up really quickly. Block's not going to be that useful either because my health is so low. All right, going to have to engage in some combat. Perhaps we could let Uthgird just take the brunt of it all. I'm going to oh, wait. Oh, my God, I know what to do. I know exactly what to do. All right, Rocky, you're gonna help me train my restoration skill. Come here, Uthgird. It's nothing. No, no, don't. Oh my gosh, she went to, oh my God. Uthgird the Unbroken is severely injured. 
and will recover in 17 days. Oh, she's even got a little bandage on her forehead. That's so cool. I mean, uh, <laughs> come on. We actually had a good plan there. I didn't think she'd go down that quickly. I thought she could eat at least one hit. All right, come on. No, you're not. Oh, no. She can be that slow. <gasps> 17 days of this. Let's let them go after her healing hands. Oh, she's down. Oh, God. OK. All right. We'll fall back a little bit. Rocky, you know what to do. Yeah, been there, done that. Oh, God, this is way too stressful. Much more so than it has any right to be. God, that was close. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, I'm slow. I can't speed up. Stamina, come back. Come on, Uthgird. Kick his ass. Oh, she's down again. She's not down again? Maybe she got more powerful after all that. I'm gonna have to start being careful though with my followers. Uthgird is very powerful and the fact that she's basically useless now for the next two weeks. Oh God, Uthgird, why? Why does it have to keep happening? Enough with the dying, all right? I think I blasted her with a lightning. I didn't mean to. Unfortunate casualty. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Oh, oh. I think she's speaking to us in Morse code. <laughs> what is she doing? She looks like she's hopping around. No, no, Uthgird deserves a proper, uh, you know, a warrior's burial. Thank you for serving me, Uthgird. Damn. Don't know if I can get through it on my own. We got a level up, though, in destruction, I think. I'm loving this lightning kill cam action. Mm, need a lock pick. One of the bandits from earlier should have one, right? There's one. Oh, God, I, <laughs> I forgot I had the key. I gotta hold on to my shield, but it's tempting though to come out of here with some loot that's gonna be worth a decent amount of money. I am. I'm gonna take the enchanted gauntlets. Should, should I have my death counter up here or should I have my follower death counter? Which one do you think is gonna be more fun to keep track of as we go through this? Both? So far it's required one sacrifice for each dungeon I've completed. Also technically, yeah, we didn't complete that dungeon. I'm gonna bounce out of it though, play it safe. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with this. Just trying to level up. Yeah, 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 no, I mean, I needed the XP, I needed the XP. But it's okay. We'll take a fast travel to Whiterun. Sure. In a few seconds, I am able to. Yeah, just a little bit of XP. Maybe we train pickpocket. Why is he moaning? Also, his eyes are open. He is not sleeping. Look at him. No, you might not be able to see it. Oh, he's wide awake. <laughs> That's terrifying. I don't like this at all. Does he sleep with his eyes open? Is he vigilant? Is he paranoid? What is going on with him? If I'm not getting XP, we are. Yes. All right. We're getting sneak XP. Finally, we're just going to chill here. Stare at the scary guard with his eyes open and ride this out for a little bit. 26. Oh, thank God I'm out of here. Thank you, officers. Thank you. This just makes me feel like Uthgur died for absolutely nothing. All that potential. She had so much potential and I wasted it. So we died multiple times. Do I need to level up multiple times to get rid of the? All right, now it's down to 25. So I probably have to level up again. All right, we're going to level up here. Stop looking at me. Look over here. There you go. We level up one more time and we're good. That's it. All right, you and me, we got this. Let me just calm down. Okay, we're going to do this effectively. Yeah, we'll, we'll give him nightmares. We'll scare him in his sleep. Why is Kaya sleeping so much? And why is this guy watching him? It's not normally how it is. Maybe they are having a staring contest. It's been going on for a while. But you go to Riften and marry Mercurio? Why? I don't want to marry Mercurio. Mercurio falls in love with you just for giving him $500. Is that who I want? 
Is that who I want Out of Pocket to fall in love with? No, Out of Pocket has higher standards than Mercurio. I'm tired of doing things in this game. I'm tired of being challenged. I am ready for the game to play itself for me. I enjoy this. Whoa, oh my God, wait, she's climbing. <laughs> when did she go up to the next level? I missed it. Just got here, what the fuck is going on? Uh, peak gameplay, that's what's happening. Ah! We're done! Finally! Now the real game begins. All right, Magicka, Health, Stam. Chad, I'm gonna let you guys pick this one. Health, Stam, Mag. Okay, you guys, you guys are all over the place. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so Stam could be good with shield bashing. Time out. Everybody focus in. Focus. Magicka Stamina might be our best bets because the amount of damage we can mitigate simply by shield bashing, can't, we can't understate that. So let's just, let's throw an early one to Stam. I swear to God, if I have to level up again to get rid of this stupid debuff. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. We're so fucking back. I've been looking for you. Item you just received is a quest item. Do you want to keep it? Nah. Now, oh my God, this, this mod is amazing. Finally, I can reject his stupid letters. I don't care. Part of the playthrough. Get used to it, all right? I've been walking around town for six days, completely nude every single day. I'm tired of it. All right, I need a mod that disables the NPCs complaining about my nudity. Yeah, that's right. I want a nudist inclusive mod. I'm, I'm over it. I'm sick of it. 90% of the NPCs in Morrowind are naked. Or half naked. Also, I'm covered in fur. I have, my surface area is covered. All over. Also, I got cool rings. I got cool hair. Adornments, jewelry. I'm not naked. Yeah, let's take out the dragon. Knock this off our list. Wait, hold on, hold on. This is good for us. Let's go Oak Flush. Yes, all right, now we're gonna get some XP. Heal up our friends. I bet there's a ton of restoration XP we can get in the middle of this fight. Get outside. Get, get outside. No, you, I get to hide out in here. You go out and fight, handle it. He's totally gonna turn right. Oh, nice, nice, he's not looking at us. If she goes down, that's okay, we can just heal her. Get outside, I'm so, I'm, I'm over this guy, I'm over you. You're not a hero for just standing there taking it, you idiot. <laughs> it's just stood still. Hmm. Anybody, anybody think it's getting a little hot out here? Before he gets vaporized, finally, this guy's getting, no, that's not the person. This fight, whoa, <laughs> dude, <laughs> the dragon flight kills me sometimes. Oh yeah, yeah, you're gonna hit this shot, dude. Yeah, you, I think he actually hit that shot. All right, you might be an idiot, but I'll save your life if I can. Stay with me, stay with me, pal. Keep it together, soldier. Another restoration level, this fight is huge. Have you? No, 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 not at the end. Oh, rest in peace, soldier. You are a hero. No. Genuinely a hero. I tried to save him. No, a proper burial is needed. I, why does everyone close to me have to die in this journey? Okay, fuck it. Close enough. Thanks for the money. Woo, we did it. Everyone here is a hero. Another one. Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Welcome, Lydia. Lead the way. Lydia acquired. We're on to follower number three. We'll try not to let Lydia get killed. All right, so I want to go to Bard's College, train to level 20 speech, take... We need two level ups because we need two speech perk points, but I want to get the perform ability, and then maybe we focus on getting vampirism after that. I'd like to not get my head ripped off here. We'll chill up here, maybe poke him from a distance. Mm, that's a lot of arrows. I'm not... Um, <laughs> I'm out. Ooh, close call. Is this person healing everyone? Oh crap, hold on. We gotta, uh, Lydia's double teamed right now. God damn it, she's down. I got there just a little bit too late. Okay, they're all gonna be aggroed onto me right now, I bet. It's gonna be all right, we got this. Very bad. Oak Flush just went away. Lydia just went down again. Try to get Lydia back into this fight as best we can. That was an execution, or was it? 
I gotta take out this healer. They're just standing over there giving this guy health. Meet my hands. Damn, my right hook is really powerful. This fight does scare me though. Not me personally, but I, I really don't want to lose another follower. Because then we really are at one dungeon for one follower every time. Oh, I threw it to the other side of the room. Two-handed, already on the way here. Lydia's gonna have to push up front. So he's coming up with the Steel Warhammer. Lydia should be able to tank a few hits. However, there's gonna be more than one pushing up. They're probably gonna meet at the opening in the doorway, which maybe I can get my shout back and shout that other pot. I almost already have my shot, uh, my shout back. I could be savvy, try to flank and shout the pot this way coming towards the door if I get on the opposite side of the room, which I might try to do. Nice! Oh, Lydia, huge play. That chief just smoked her. She's losing health really fast. He got a hit on me. She's almost dead. Nice. How do we not get a stumble on him there? I need a shield bash and buy her some time. There we go. There we go. He's off the ledge. We got some time. I love you. That was a sick fight. That was awesome. That was really, really fun. We probably lose that fight if we don't get a few good shield bashes in there. That yeah, might be the unofficial patch that changes that. Nice, I'm glad I got rid of my shield. Bet your ass I'm getting alteration XP out of that. What's going on without getting rock joint? Have I finally immunized myself against rock joint? Here we go, another block level. I'm just gonna turtle. I'm fully gonna turtle and tank. This is gonna be awesome. When we get our block level really, really high, start getting some wild perks, slow motion, knockback. I don't think it has like full knockback with shield bash. That'd be cool though. Oh shit. Oh my God. I put the wrong spell on. I completely choked there. I keep getting confused between fast healing and healing hands. Did I get an injury there? Yeah, minor injury. I swear, if that's from the mod where I have to level up to get rid of it, I'm gonna be annoyed because I disabled it. I think that that's from Blade and Blunt, which those injuries I'm okay with. I don't know what the hell Lydia's doing. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'll just wait and hopefully reset her position. I'll relax. I'm not gonna try and kill ya. Whoa, 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 whoa. I love you. I love the big furry elephant guys. They're, they're just, they're, they're so helpful every time. I love you. No, don't go hostile to me, I'm a friend. I'm a friend, I'm a friend. I said I love you. Okay, we know they can't climb mountains. Now hold on, we have to be careful. It looks like Lydia's going to engage the bandits in combat and I can't do anything. Lydia, I can't help you from here. Christ. Okay, we gotta make sure Lydia doesn't get herself killed. Lydia, Lydia. Oh no, she's getting her ass kicked. Wait, that's not Lydia, that's a mud crab. Where the hell's Lydia? Oh my God, please. Who do I want to win, the bandits or the mammoth? Well, probably the mammoth. I'm a little bit nervous. Where's Lydia? I could have sworn, was that? Was that Lydia that I saw? God damn it. <laughs> Do you think she went into the cave? No. All right, let's see if she's in here. I doubt it. Lydia is in fact not in. Oh my Lord, Lydia, don't ever scare me like that again. Do you understand me? I will put you in timeout. I will stop giving you my burdens to carry. All right, well, unfortunately, if I go out that door right now, here's the problem. If I go out that cave entrance right now, that mammoth kills her. She's dead. What the fuck is wrong? We have a mod that changes the faces, okay? It made everybody hot. I don't know why. First guy has a shield. We gotta have this one go down. Nice hit, Lydia. She's already in on it. Come on, bitch. 
Sorry, Lydia. Vampire? Wait, hold on, Lydia. Don't kill him. Wait, wait, don't kill this guy, Lydia. I need to catch his disease. Oh, you asshole. That's so Bush League. Never mind. He dies. He wants to cheat. Yeah, kill him. Kill him. He wants to cheat. Kill him. Ooh. Lydia, you're scaring me. <laughs> this carnage is a little bit too much, Lydia. All right, sleep for our level up. We can get rid of the mammoths that are just outside. There's probably some food in here as well, so I'm probably going to wait until the next day. Let a day go by. Maybe our injury heals. We will go stamina again. Block is going up fairly slow. Once we get it to level 20, we can get a few more of these timed block, quick reflexes. Well, that way we have to get it to 40. So I'm going to eat that perk. We'll save it for now. Is that a free horse? This feels like bait. I don't trust this at all. What? And it's legal? This feels too good to be true. Horse murder is sort of what people know you for nowadays. You're the horse murder guy, like it or not. Is that really what I, is that how y'all view me? Is that what I've become? All this time, all these adventures we've spent together and the defining aspect of my role play, of my gaming, is that I killed a horse or two? Oh, Sfari, you poor thing. Get up and watch the execution. Go home and stay there. Stare it in the face, Savari. It's about time you grew up. Understand the world we live in. Uh, what did I want to do while here? Ah, Bard's College. I would like some free education, my fine sir. Oh. I, I, I assume the task you're about to assign me is bard related, like learn how to play an instrument or help me string this lute or help me tune my piano. Nothing crazy like go on an adventure and dive into a dungeon, take out some Draugr or maybe a Dwarven Automaton, perhaps. No, it would never be anything like that, would it? Yes, I need you to retrieve the poem. Uh, I don't really plan on it. Wish you luck in finding the Sorry, voice. dude. Hello, yes. I'm the Dean of History and Scribe Work. What good to meet a perspective. Well, you've come to the right place. There we go. Be careful. We have now become educated. And because of our education, because of our hard work, hitting the books, studying music theory and how to read music, how to play music, now we can perform for cash. The naked traveling cat bard. Let's go make some money. No, 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 no. Put that, put that thing away. Here, I'll show you how a real bard does it. What say you in your defense? My bad. <laughs> I deserve it. I, I deserve to spend the night in jail. I had that coming. Wait, oh, we'll play for the guards. Look, there's so many of them right here. We can interrupt their training with music. You must sheathe your weapons and unequip shields. Okay, fine. Unequip. Music. Powers can only be used once a day. I didn't use them. It's gone. Oh, no way. It gets rid of it. Oh, my God. This is ridiculous. Now I've got no money. I can't play my music. This town sucks. I, I don't have money. <laughs> I mean, I can. I have six. But no. He probably has more. How, how much cash do you have? You probably have more money than me. He does. <laughs> he has one more gold than me. You're not getting shit from me. Yeah, screw solitude. It's too mainstream for me anyway. You know, I'm taking my music underground. How difficult is it to get King Olaf's verse? No, I shouldn't. I don't want to lose Lydia either. So we're going to real quick rob this farmstead. There's got to be a coin purse in here. Well, hello. Hey. Have a seat, will you? Really? You just let a stranger walk into your house and immediately jump to? Yeah, go ahead. We are having a hashtag cool day. Thank you, Nox Tornal. 21 gold. Aha, I found your hidden allowance, Canood. Guess who's not going to college anymore? We're here to teach you a lesson. Are you shitty? Are you guys for real? Hold on, hold on, hold on. L these people could actually kill Lydia. This is bad. We gotta save Lydia. Don't have a shield. Oh god, Lydia is three on one right now. Okay. Unrelenting force is gonna get us a wanted level. We're gonna hit the horses. Don't want that to happen. Shit. God damn it, I'm healing the bad guys. Oh, this is not good. She got a few good hits in there when I stole aggro. It's all good, Lid. We gotta just gotta keep circling around. Nice power attack. Oh shit, she's about to go down. She is almost down. Ah, don't heal the thug. Looks like Lydia's okay though. She tanked it. That guy is gonna power attack directly into her and hit though. 
No! 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 You fuckers! Let's go, sons of bitches. Oh my god. Hey! You won't leave here alive. I'm so sorry, Lydia. Lydia is dead. The thug attack, the Tony Hawks underground. All right, you wieners. I'll give you a follower death count. <laughs> I need to think of, I mean, if I'm gonna begin, you know what, you know what, this is good. This is good. Actually, Lydia dying is a positive. Hear me out, hear me out. This is why Lydia dying is actually good for us. Because now that I am beginning my underground career as a musician, now with all of this tragedy in the backstory of Out of Pocket, now when she begins her underground music career, there's gonna be, you know, a lot of soul in there. What should we title our first album? Fuck. Oh, fuck. I appreciate the suggestion, Mr. Mudcrab. I fucking hate this game. Well, according to my calculations, that was fucking bullshit. Oh, okay. All right, all right, okay. Yeah, no, this is, um, I'm good. I'm 16, yeah, 16 gold. That's awesome. Where's Morthal? It's right there. I'm going to Morthal. I'm going to Morthal. Yes, actually, hold on. Perfect. Morthal, it's grunge. It's edgy. I know you're all secretly rooting for me to die again. Oh, it's so funny. You know what? Perhaps it is. Perhaps dying to the mud crabs is funny, but you know what? I don't think it's funny, okay? I get frustrated. Maybe this is fitting. I am low-key in love with Jarl Idgrod Ravencrone, so maybe it's fitting that we play a ballad for her about our broken heart. Benor is the only one I trust here. Cause like they, okay. Get back to it. Is he checking me out or? Great. I ended up in the worst possible place to be a bard. You know what? Maybe it's not too bad because the only competition I have here absolutely sucks. Does. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Watch this. Watch this, Lurbuck. I'm about to show you up. Oh. Wait, I can't until tomorrow. Let's pay rent. <clears throat> oh, ooh, we have a little bit of a crowd. A little bit of. Everybody, everybody, gather round. Gather round. Everybody, please don't leave. No, you're not allowed to leave. I'm playing music. And I'm naked. I wish you would step back from that ledge, my friend. We could cut ties with all the lies that you've been living in. 47 gold, all right, all right. Yeah, that's gonna pay for one day of rent. We're gonna be able to get some horker loaf, maybe some booze. Let's go 9 a.m. Everybody's gonna be in the lobby. Okay, now we gotta hurry up out there and play a song for them before they leave. Has it been long enough though for me to use it? Oh, damn it, I can't use it yet. Jet, jet. No, I have to pay rent again. Ah, bamboozled again. Stop moving. I'm playing music. This is how we feel. Stop, no, no, shut up, Lurbuck, I'm playing. Is this a battle? Are you challenging me? You know what, screw this town. Okay, they make me eat off the floor. They don't respect my music. I think it's just I'm over it you know I, I think i'm just kind of i've grown out of this audience i don't really think they understand the direction that we're taking the band is it the guard over there who sees me i'm not i'm not okay whatever i'll take a 50 gold bounty and morthal who gives a shit it's morthal you have committed crimes against skyrim shut up come on horsey yeah we got music to play all right quick trip to solitude Play some music, make some money. We'll be right back on track. This is just a little bit of a detour. We've gone off the rails, y'all, but that's okay. All right, the charm of these adventures is we go off the rails sometimes. All right, this is important. We only have 29 gold. We have to knock it out of the park at this next performance. I mean, it's gotta be something life-changing for these NPCs. This is huge. Yeah, 10 p.m. is probably the prime hour. Or like 9 p.m. Let me know. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got a lot of people in. We got a lot of people wandering in. Oh, this is huge. We got to play our song. Yeah, she's playing fucking flute. <laughs> this is going to be so easy to upstage. All right. I'm in position. 
and I can't perform until tomorrow. I hate this game. Huge. We got everybody. Put on a cloth sack at the very least. Ta -ta -ta -ta. It's part of my stage attire, okay? Seasonably warm. All right, here we go. Well, I just heard news today. Seems my yeah, she likes it. She likes Creed over there. Is gonna change. 122 gold. We are a rock star. Knocking it out of the park. That's Midwest emo, baby. I'm gonna go invest my money in like fantasy crypto or something. I have no business with you. Leave me. I'm staying out of this. No way they caught me. I was hidden. I was hidden the whole time. You're gonna chase away your best talent, just like this. Chase away your yeah yeah. Chase me away. Chase me out of town. Sure. Wait, you don't like my music? Look at it. Look at this. All these people. They hate Midwest emo. Why are the guards running away? Wait, wait, this is, no, this is not how it goes. Get out of the way, Jari Ra. You wanna go? You wanna go? I'm feeling really scorned by losing my friends in combat. And you thought I was just a face. It's, it's legal. No, it's not legal. 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 I'm going to jail. <laughs> my life, I'm going to jail. My life is over. In my defense, I was acting in defense. All right, so we lost, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of progress there. Well, not not really. We just we made some skill progress. Man, I don't even have the time or the energy for this bullshit. You're naked. I know. Okay. All right. I can't handle it. It's not my fault. It's a curse I was born with. <laughs> I don't know. Let's say you're a barista. And the next customer walks up to the, you know, store and they're like, hey, I've had a really rough week. Can I just get like a cold brew or something to pick me up? Don't just shout at them about their nudity. You have to be subtle about it, okay? Us nudists, we, <laughs> we have it tough. Might as well perform again while we can. Ooh, crap. Someone, someone's being attacked. Please, someone do something. Don't hurt I'll have your head. <laughs> Of the stop right there <laughs> that was really fun that was really fucking funny <laughs> honestly at this point i want vampirism just so i can get revenge on all the npcs i feel like i've gotten the short end of the stick look at that, that's my blood they haven't even cleaned it up i just need a couple bucks all we need lonely gale i know those pockets are bursting at the seams with some coin lost anyone close can you not just murder the vibes <laughs> concert here i'm on my way to windhelm to join up with the storm club oh hey he's actually about there i'm gonna follow him he's he's so close to windhelm we never see this guy this close to windhelm for science i gotta see if he actually goes to windhelm don't 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 it's it's a dead rabbit dude Dude, it's a rabbit. Why are you checking it out for? I hope you're all having fun. Is everyone having fun? If you're not having fun, then keep it down. Money is tight. Food is precious. You have no clothing. This is an excellent use of time. It is. It is. We're, yeah, we're really, we're really in trouble. So why not do this? It's the most fun I've had in years. Okay, I need to, uh, I need somebody to crop that message out. Put that on the Discord somewhere I can see it. Um, we could use that for channel marketing. Honest reviews from Twitch chatters. Like the get like if my stream just came out on Steam or something, we could put it in quotes. This is the most fun I've had, or it would be quote dot 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 the most fun I've had in years. That is an exact quote from somebody on the stream. Juve propaganda era. Yes, yes, we need propaganda for the stream. Oh. He is on his way to Windhelm. Okay, he actually goes into the city. Are you serious? Well, so what happens? He wants to join the Stormcloaks, and as soon as he touches the outer gate, he just materializes. No, I don't care anymore. The only thing that awaits me in there is disappointment. I've wasted all that damn time. Now I gotta run back to my objective. All right, one of these, I believe it's this little lake up here. There should be vampires. Let's be a bit cautious while we're in here, though. 
I forgot that that would tell him where I'm at. Here we go. Holy damage! You the only one in here? Nice, nice, yes, yes. I accept your donation of disease. That's right. Keep sucking. Okay, well, the, no, don't do it too much. That's how we can really break their brain. There we go, we got it. Sanguinari Vampiris. That's Latin for you are now a vampire. Oh my God. No, oh my God. Stop, 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 stop. Please stop it, you're killing me. No, no, oh fuck, no, no, get away, get away up there. Please, I swear, don't kill me. Oh my God. Wow, that was incredibly close, holy shit. I didn't blow it, I didn't blow it. What's down here? Oh, is this one of those player homes? This is totally a player, yeah, yeah, this is a player home. What the hell is going on? Ow! What is- Ow! Why? What's happening? What in the Harry Potter nonsense is going on right now? Ron? No, I don't have time for this. Oh, uh, don't- No, no. It actually locked me in here. I'm stuck. I have to do this. The game is forcing me to engage with <gasps> Creation Club content. Oh, God. No, 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 no. It's a- No, now it's even more of a nightmare. <laughs> Make it end. All right, the clues. Well, okay, maybe I have to go back here and actually read this. Look at the map. Get out of my head. Let me out. Open the door. A mage travels Skyrim, snuffing out the souls of its people along the way. In each place, they collect a torch to represent the light of the dead. Their journey starts by traveling west to Morthal. From there, they cross the plains south to Falkreath and make use of the alchemist's table. Next, they travel northeast, past the river, and stopped at the Night Gate Inn, where they cooked themselves a meal before snuffing the light there. Finally. Okay, all right, so, so, Morthal, Falkreath, Nightgate, Dunstead. Ta-da! That was easy. I, I knew, I knew where that was going. Yeah. What do we get, Staff of Worms? Find a use for the, oh, this quest keeps going? I don't know what it does. Staff of Worms, reanimate a dead body permanently to fight for you. I mean, it looks cool. We can get Lydia back. Find a way to the dream world? Where are we going? I don't know what's happening now. I mean, okay, fine, fine. You know what? It's new content. Can I, can I just make this how I walk around the rest of the entire playthrough? <laughs> Please. Uh, look, I know I want to commit to block as my one item slot. It got ready for, oh no. Oh, it got rid of my van. That's okay, we'll figure it out later. I need to get out of this room. Okay, now I'm in the dream world. Three. Damn, I, cure I didn't even have to cure my vampirism. Arch Necromancer's final instructions. To bring them to darkness, one must place them on the altar of the Revenant and turn greater to black. Only then will you be free. I was just testing you all. I was testing your patience, your ability to put up with my, uh, my mental fortitude. I came over here to contract vampirism, contracted vampirism, and then accidentally got rid of vampirism because of some bullshit quest. Vampire? We have to save the vampire. Although it's a regular vampire, could be difficult. We've targeted our prey. Cornered our prey. Now use your thing on me. Oh. <laughs> like a scared little, uh, like a bunny rabbit. Come on, use your power. I'm not moving. Mm -mm. No. I will literally, I will, I will stick you in the corner until you attack. You're, ooh, that, that, you, you, you're. There you go, that's all it took. Okay, let's not dot.
I am a vampire. Woo! Yep. Doesn't matter. Task failed successfully. I mean, we lost 60 gold. I lost my shield. It was enchanted. You know, that was a pretty good shield. That's all right. Objective accomplished. Okay, we're a vampire now. Now I can just eat civilians, you know, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, rather than trying to rely on finding food and paying for it honestly. He says, I thought he said ass man for a second. He says, and as man, you said. You just cured vampires. God dang it. Did I really? This game doesn't want to see me succeed. It doesn't want to see me happy. It doesn't. We roll with the punches. That's okay. We know where we can find more vampires, right? When every single wolf gives me the same disease, I feel inclined to get rid of it. Think of the positives here, though. I'm not strong enough to be a vampire. I'm just not ready. I'm not ready for that lifestyle. I actually need my health right now in this moment. I'm completely naked. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. This is my favorite mod ever. I love just being able to drop the courier's bullshit mail. Where did he go? It's like a spam filter. He gives me mail, it immediately goes in the trash. I know I want to become a vampire. It feels worthwhile though to get rid of it for now. As much as I want it. No, 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 no. I hate that noise. It's my least favorite noise in all of existence. He's right behind me. Okay, we've got a rock here, a little bit of coverage. Whew, that was close. What a save. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do right now. What I have to worry about right now is not getting killed by this apex predator that is sitting on top of this rock. We have one thing we can use that is gonna help us out immediately. So let's do it. He goes, he's gonna go over our head here. We'll get unrelenting force back. Holy shit, that was close. Okay, this, this might help me escape. I just need motivation to get out of here. He's gonna kill us in one hit. Ah! Okay, 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 he got awkward pathing. We just have to get some of our stamina back. Keep stumbling him. Let's throw on sparks. I'm dead. Nice, he missed. actually got to me that one actually pissed me the fuck off sorry fuck you this is an ode to oh god damn it it didn't fucking do the thing i thought it i thought i had it back god damn it fuck oh that actually pissed me off so bad I'm, i don't i don't know if i've ever gotten tilted like that playing this game in a while <laughs> Ah, ah, ha, 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 ha. I'm good. I'm good. It's all good. It's all good. We're okay. Why is the courier coming back now? I've been what do you want? Now is not the time. I'm pissed. A letter. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Letter from a friend. Out of pocket. You caused quite of a bit of a stir in the bannered mare when you demonstrated the power of your thum. Dude, shut up. It was two seconds ago. Sorry about that. I don't like to actually freak out like that and go, you know, full gamer mode. <laughs> Where's that asshole? I'm killing it. I'm killing that stupid saber cat. That one got to me. That one, that one, yeah, that one pissed me off a little bit. I don't like getting upset. <laughs> Bitch. It did it again. Why is it so slow? See, that's all I had to do. All I had to do the first time. We got him. Nice and easy. See? First, let's see if we can somehow magically get through Redaron's retreat. Uh, first person's gonna be an archer. One hit, we die. I don't know if Oak Flesh can save us. We'll give it a try, though. It's the same one. They're probably invisible still. Yeah, that hit him, so hopefully it reveals them. Okay, if this person kills me, we're going to have to reevaluate things just a little bit. Stumble. 
We got him stumbling pretty big there. And you thought I okay. All right, if they want to go melee, I don't know if that helps us out all that much. Dodge! There we go. We might have him in a good position here. No. Oh. oh my God, they got the shot off. Oak flesh for the win. Now for the time being, we need money. I'm taking the amethyst. <laughs> I got one gem. Maybe we can sell this. It might cross us over the finish line to buying a new bodyguard. I would have been unconsolable, inconsolable if that arrow killed me. If I blew it in the last second, I may have cried. You may have seen me for the very first time ever just start wailing. It would have sounded like a haunted hospital ward. I would have been crying so loudly. It would have echoed throughout the halls of these these connected condos that I live in. My neighbors would have heard it through the walls. They would have thought their place was haunted. They look stuck. Can we safe spot them? To all my RuneScape fans out there, Skyrim officially has safe spotting. You think I'm gonna risk any progress to make this like more difficult or more engaging or like a showdown? No, I have no intention. My GF said, can you stop doing this because it is loud? Are they getting closer to the edge? We can probably like, yeah, oh, there, there we go. There we go. We can move them like back towards the center a little bit. Let them think they have a chance. There you go. That's the first 360, 100 gold, barehanded, bear trap disarm you've ever seen. A little bit more XP. We got the bounty, 213 gold. That should bring us pretty damn close after we sell the armor and complete the quest to buying a new follower. We should be right about there. Service. All right, get the bounty out of the way. I mean, we are, we're really scraping the bottom of the barrel here for a few bucks. I'm overthinking this. I'm overthinking this right now. There's there's coins everywhere. The church always has free coins. God's bless you, healer. That was close, close call. Out of my way. Are you, are you hurt? What condition does this soldier have? He's suffering from a debilitating disease of happy feet. Careful, it's contagious. <laughs> Careful, he's footloose. Don't let him infect you, kids. Ow. Okay, okay, all right. Let's just think about this for a second now. And this guy, we should get more XP because I think his hit probably does more damage than the mud crab would have. We gotta be careful though. That's also, oh, damn it, now we're, we're literally, why? It had to kick in now, the fact that we get drained and peckish all at the same time. Now, in the middle of training. I think my grilled leaks are over here still, though. Shield back on. Kind of clutch. So we at least fixed our hunger, whatever debuff that was going to apply. But our magicka and stamina are going to regen much slower, which sucks. I'm going to not kill the skeleton. We're going to leave him alive. Oh, he followed me. <laughs> he followed me. Please win. Please, skeleton, win. Oh, you didn't have to hit his head across the room. He launched his skull. All right, hear me out. Hear me out. We take the garnet. We drop the shield. Let's go sell it. Garnet? Do come back. That only took us to 494. I need six gold. I can do this. Six gold. That's it. 500. All right, so we turn in the amulet. What does he give? I think it's just cash. It'd be nice. Oh, thank okay. Please take this gold for your troubles. Y'all sent me all the way back in there for 15 gold. I'm kind of upset. I'm kind of upset. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little upset. 15 gold is fucking stupid. Blade and shadow, I silence and death. These are my arts. For a modest fee, I'll make great art for you. 10 out of 10 pitch. If this was a sales pitch and J like if Janessa made a slideshow like I do for the challenge rules, then you've come to the right 10 out of 10, she's absolutely crushing it. You have chosen wisely. Lead on 
and I shall follow. We're not gonna get her killed, okay? Look at her, she's badass. She's cool looking. We're one of the same kind, you and I. No, we're not. You're a dark elf and I'm a cat. We are actually not at all. Not really even similar. All right, we're gonna keep it nice and simple here with Janessa. We're gonna go to Valheim Towers. We'll clear off another bounty. We'll come back to town. Incoming rock joint notification. Oh, did she just smoke it? We might make a good team. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Let's take a note of the amethyst. Let's just take it out. Where did it drop? Oh, that was such a dumb idea. <laughs> the amethyst just dropped somewhere. I think it went under the table. Oh God, it's right there. Can we get it? Do it, it went further under the table. This is way too immersive. This is like me with the remote. <laughs> Fuck this game, dude. Get off the table, you're not helping. Oh, it's not a table, it's a dock. I don't think it'll come out the other side. Okay, so we gotta push it that way. All right, we have a good opportunity for some training here. I'm gonna get Janessa killed. I just got Janessa killed. It's over. She's not making it out. All this work for another follower and my hastiness, my idiotic play style and strategy just got her killed. There's three of them there. You've got a mage in back. You've got blind guy in front and you have two handed sword who is gearing up, ready to swing that thing through her torso. Do what we can. We can use some shield bashing to maybe slow them down. I'm already dead. We gotta go healing hands, try to keep Janessa alive. Now I'm out of magic. Two-hander is right next to me. Okay, now it's a solo, it's a 1v1. Janessa might be able to finish this off. Okay, okay, all right. Crisis averted. We don't have a victim here, okay? Jan Janessa made it out, she's all good. I'm, I was a little bit nervous though. Whew, they just came down so quickly. The circumstances changed so fast, but that was good. We, we recovered. Almost a disaster, it almost didn't work, but you know, we fixed it. Okay, we got them both to stumble, nice start. Now let's let Janessa move. She pushes up, we'll go healing hands and turtle. Come on, Jay. Can't be taking that many power attacks. She can't hit him for some reason. It just, it just used my shout, but then the shout didn't actually push forward. That arrow's gonna kill me. I need to fall back. Sorry, Janessa. Please don't be dead, please. She's winning. Janessa, you got this. One more. Yes. Oh yes, Janessa. Oh, you are a tank, I love you. When can we get married? Oh, that's huge. We didn't die, we're all good. Everything is fine. Why are there more people in here? I thought that this dungeon was lots, a lot smaller. I don't know if it's worth doing it again. That last fight was already really risky. I'm actually not gonna push it. I'm gonna be a coward. Because you know what's gonna happen? Janessa's gonna push the middle of the room without even thinking. We're like in my head, I can kind of pause the game, break it down and think, okay, we got Archer up top, another Archer behind them, my job in the fight is to stay close to Janessa if I can, but the two archers up top, they're gonna spread us thin. If we get spread thin in that formation, we are gonna get just manhandled. We have to take the small victories when we can. Uh, Valheim Towers kind of scares me a little bit. Janessa's gonna push, she's gonna get up onto that bridge. It's a really awkward, it's really high up. 29. Janessa, what the fuck are you swinging at? Thank you. <laughs> what is she doing? Least calculated movements ever. Maybe I need to put her back onto a one-handed weapon. That bandit, usually that's the bandit that asks us to pay the toll, but they've isolated themselves. I'm gonna go right in the front door. Can't unlock that. Trap is easy enough to dodge. Ooh, okay. So here's where it gets interesting. Any emergency moments in the fight, I come back to this chest and grab the potions. Everyone's obsessed with this deer. Can I push up to that bandit? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try something stupid here. Didn't work. And I just about fell off. 
This is bad. Janessa is completely on her own. She's got one archer bearing down on her up top. She should be able to win the 1v1 on the bridge. There's two bandits to my left. This is a bad idea. That arrow just missed my head. Stay alive, Jay. Bravely injured. I think she's alive though. Janessa will recover in about seven days. Bandit Chief looks like they're following us. I'm not sure what exactly Janessa's gonna do up on the bridge. Can't really worry about that right now though. They're too far up the road. Oh, that deer scared the shit out of me. <laughs> the deer came out of nowhere. I gotta create enough separation though. Without, yeah, the archers still have shots on me. That's bad. Nice block. We almost have one of these two dead. But I'm gonna lose Oak Flesh here very soon. How much time do we have left with Oak Flesh? 15 seconds? Oh, that's the chief. Okay. Ah, uh, my stamina ran out. That's bad. Ooh, girl, girl, girl. Watch it. That was close. Beautiful log of defense. Throw this log up in between. Okay, now we have enough time for Oak Flesh to come back on. That was close. No clue where the bandit chief is going. I think they got distracted by Bambi. You hear that noise? That's an arrow. It may or may not be hitting me in the back of my cranium. I have no clue. Doesn't look like it hit us. Go. Now we have a 1v1 versus the bandit chief. Let's get back to the tower so we have more cover. Where are those arrows coming from? Jeez. Where am I getting hit from? They're shooting fast enough. I might actually die from this next one. And where the hell is Janessa? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know where you think you're going. Before you can go out and play with your friends, you need to be, you know, healthy. Oh, she's gonna die. No, this game, no. I just, uh, Janessa, I tried. Why must this game do this to me? Oh, thank you, thank you, rip Janessa. Pour one out. Rest in peace, Janessa. Your sacrifice will never be forgotten. Oh, she keeps getting caught on the... Okay, a warrior's funeral for you, Janessa. She fought so hard, valiantly, kind of stupidly, but you know what she tried. We let her down, I let her down. Goodbye, Janessa. I'll do right by one of these followers one of these days. Maybe not today. Damn it, she keeps getting caught on rocks. It's ruining the moment. Where is she? <laughs> Where is she? I gotta be able to see her in the waterfall. I swear, if she's stuck here. I. <laughs> Damn it! It doesn't work if you don't actually go down the waterfall. You know what? That's a fitting place to leave her. Uh, yeah, we need a free follower. And I think I'm just gonna keep the momentum going. We're gonna move down this road. There's a free follower down the road if we complete their quest. Can I make restoration any cheaper? Yes. Gotta, gotta make restoration a little bit cheaper. The only thing I can see myself doing that I don't wanna do because it would trivialize the run is Elemental Flare. Elemental Flare is so good and so cheap to cast that it would immediately make this character really powerful. Entrance to Blackreach, alt tab. <laughs> I think you should get the shield. Oh, how do we get that shield? By doing content significantly more difficult than the one you just did. Well, that doesn't make it any easier. Okay, Goldir might be essential though, since he's not technically labeled as a follower. Also, I have no clue what happens to Serana. Oh, I'm gonna get Goldir killed, aren't I? I barely got through this dungeon. No, I can't do it. I barely got through this dungeon with uh, Wrathman. Yeah, the final battle in here is gonna be way too difficult. I'll get some. I'll get some XP from these initial fights, so that we can maybe set up Goldir for victory but then i am gonna leave this dungeon brown rot another disease all right sorry to hear about your aunt buddy that really sucks but no i, I can't go into that last room uh this is kind of a tough choice but i'm gonna leave the shield behind i am going to walk this amethyst this one gem in the middle of the night 
all the way back to Whiterun. Am I crazy? Possibly. Stupid? Definitely. Which followers did we have already? Okay, so um, in the current graveyard of followers, we have Sven. Sven died idiotically. He ran into a bunch of swinging axes. That was his fault. I do not take the blame for that one. Uh, Uthgur died because I was trying to exploit and grind my restoration. So I tricked her into walking into a loose rock on the ground. Uthgird, as a result of our rigorous training, died. Third, it was Lydia. Lydia, I feel bad about. I let her down. You know, in the middle of a tense fight, three armed thugs jumped us just outside of solitude. She held them off bravely, fought valiantly. And just when I started to break through and figure out a strategy for the fight, I blew it. Then we had Janessa, who we spent the first two hours of this stream scrounging up money to buy. We bought her services. She fought well, and like the others before her, I let her down and she died. Why did I go with Sven? Well, if one of them were to die, which I guess that prediction of mine has gone pretty well. How many of our followers are gonna end up dying? There seems to be a pattern. I know, there seems to be a pattern of the people I hire to protect me, not protecting themselves enough to continue protecting me. It sounds like I just need to hire better. I think my practices in who I bring into my party they haven't really been ideal. There's a man in Morthal you can fight and then he will follow you. We're going to Morthal. Here we go. No. Are those armed thugs? No, they're not. Dawnguard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. What do you say? Finally. After all these times on the channel, I finally get to say yes and mean it. All right, so we got to fight Benor. I bet I can take you on barehanded and naked. Now let's see what you got. All right, let's kick ass one more time. I don't even have to try. This is so easy. See, Durak? You did right by recruiting me. That was a joke. This guy is supposed to protect me? Boom. All right, Benor, welcome to the team. Welcome to a long, successful lineage <laughs> of warriors and adventurers. But here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by. Kill and left the this dragon located at Skyborn Altar. That that that's not a bounty. <laughs> it's not a bounty. Kill the dragon. Are you shitting me? Is that the bounty? Yo, 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 I'm taking cover. Benor, you got this? Benor? Oh my God, if I lose Benor here. Okay, this is bad. This is really, really bad. Oak flesh, heal ourselves up a little bit. All right, sweet, it's going after the guard. You, shut the fuck up. I need eyes on Benor. Okay, it looks like the dragon is mostly going after the guards. Benor still fairly close to full health. Rosto 30. Benor still not taking shots. Let's see. Let's let them shoot. This is actually huge. If we get a dragon kill here, he's going to drop a couple hundred gold. All right, let's heal up that guard. It's free XP and another fighter. The more non Benor targets we keep on the field, better chance of him living. I'm out of here. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, no, no way, man. I'm dead. No! At the buzzer! That's what I'm talking about! Okay, maybe let's not get that cocky. Let's, <laughs> let's get easy with our confidence. Shit, one guard's down. Uh, Benor, my, I don't know if Benor's making it out of this one, y'all. Yeah, he's gearing up for another fire blast. This is gonna hit Benor right in the face. Can I somehow stun the dragon with, f no. Benor needs some help. Okay, it doesn't look like Benor's actually dead dead. Use the rocks as cover. I got a bail. All right, he's shooting at somebody else. I'm going for it. Oh, it's a dagger? It's a dagger. I thought it was a... Oh, oh my God. Benor, please kill it. Holy shit. Holy shit, we're alive. Oh my God, we're alive. <laughs> Oh, that was awesome. Okay, so I thought I just went first instinct. I was like, I gotta grab a weapon off the guard and push into a power attack. 
and it was a it was a dagger. Yes. Benor lives. We got some gold. We got a dragon bone we can sell. That was epic. A couple of really, really close calls there, especially when the when the dragon actually got its flames on me. Barely getting off the heal in time. Benor, you badass. You are awesome. I'm still here. Yeah, I know you're still here. You are awesome. We can sell the scales at the blacksmith. That's big. That is so, so, so big. I don't think that that dragon was the contract. That was the contract. Oh, it wasn't the contract. It wasn't. <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong quest. All I saw was collect bounty. And I'm like, no way. That's a different one. Maybe I get away with stealing the horse and make my way to solitude. The route to solitude's not intensely dangerous. We've gone through it before. I mean, look, I've already done it on this character. Yeah, I'm going to steal the horse. Free horse. All right, let's go. Open the gate first. Pfft. Yeah, okay. I think you meant to say jump over the gate. Oh, it's already open. You know what, just in a fact of malicious defiance, I'm not using your stupid gate. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort near Rifton. Might consider joining up myself. I've never heard that line of dialogue in a Nord accent, or at least that Nordic accent. It's always, heard they're reforming the Dawn God. Not that. Heard they're reforming the Dawn God. Vampire hunters or something. Hmm? To me, that just sounds incorrect. Oh, this is where Lydia died. Is Lydia's dead body still down there? I'm curious. I doubt it. It's been enough in-game days. Yeah, the bandit bodies aren't down there, so she won't be. 185. Come back to Honestly, that's good cash. Because now we at least, if, unless I die like five times and lose a shit ton of money in the cascading waterfall of death, at the very least, if we lose Benor, I have enough to buy Mercurio. So two things that I think we have to do on this run. We have to get him better armor across the board, better better protection, better weapon, of course. We need them to be able to keep themselves alive. We need, the, we need them to essentially math their way through fights. We need their numbers to be so much better than the opponent's numbers. I don't have to worry about saving them in combat. Getting to that point might be impossible though. I think I do want to go for Spellbreaker. The more that I think about it and the more that I think about this build, however, here's the thing. If I die with Spellbreaker, it's gone forever. If I am holding Spellbreaker and die, it's gone. But also Meridia's, Meridia's Beacon, that boss fight's gonna be tough. With the, what is it, the Shades? There's like eight different shades that attack you and then there's the main boss. Akato's Recital stores the beneficial self-targeted non-concentration spell in your left hand. So that would be like Oak Flesh and cast it for no cost whenever you enter combat up to three spells. Empty left hand to reset. So if I cast this and then I enter combat, it will automatically cast Oak Flesh. That seems really good. I will take it. You might be able to stack it with stone flesh. If they stack, then that's going to really help us out. I have to get some form of armor. I can afford it. So now we put stone flesh in our left hand. Cast this bad boy again. Spell two out of three stored. Okay, so now we need to get involved in some combat. I might save my game here and just test it on an NPC to see what happens. Both cast, alteration goes crazy. Uh, it won't tell me my armor rating because I don't have armor in my inventory. Okay, let's kill this guy real quick. No, they do not stack. Armor rating is only 60. Good thing we didn't spend all of our money though because we have brown rot. We got to get rid of it. All the way back down to 71 gold. I still think though that that spell is going to be really good. I hope you all were kind to chair. Chair wants to have their own channel. Not happening. I don't need the. I don't need a chair anyway. Y'all hype up chairs so much. It's bullshit. I don't need a fucking chair. Stupid chair. I don't need a. I don't need a fucking chair. I need a taller green screen. See what you did? You see what y'all did? Now chair is unemployed. It's a standing stream now. We're getting our steps in. I really don't know where to go. Windhelm Riften. Climb on in the boat and get comfortable. Oh, this would suck. Being on a boat naked would actually suck ass. It'd be so cold. All right, keep your yes, huge, down. huge. We'll take that to level 11. That is massive. I feel like... Damn. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go stamina, mainly because that Akato's recital spell we have is really good. But what can what else can we do in alteration? We can make them even cheaper. Precision spells like Stone Flesh are 100% stronger if not wearing armor. Done. Done. Automatic. I'm kind of excited. Having never played Dawn Guard the entire time, like in my channel's existence, this might be really fun. Hold on, let's take care of one thing first. I will hear no more of adoption. None of you is getting Oh my god! I think I just snapped her in half. <laughs> oh my god. That was one of the most amazing relative assassinations I've ever seen. 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10. If I could give it a higher rating. Fortunately, I don't want to break the scale. That sets a really poor standard for other executions that might end up on the list. I can't give it a 10. The only reason I can't give it a 10 is because if that animation repeats on any other NPC, that would imply the Grell of the Kind has a back just as strong as let's say a high level warrior mm -mm, no if anything grell of the kind should just be like should just go down real quick push them here why is there a ghost why do you have ghosts on your team hey wait a minute you're not a ghost good call whoever just suggested upgrading the follower gear great fantastic huge call this is a full upgrade to steal for Benor. There's an orcish warhammer sitting here, and I about did nothing with it. The reason why that's so big, now just in terms of gear, Benor is going to outclass, at the very least, tier one bandits. He can probably take on, I would say, three tier one bandits without getting overwhelmed. I hope you don't mind if I walk up with you. Hey, uh, don't tell Isran I was afraid to meet him by myself. Not the best- Dude, I just, I, it, it's so funny, you just meet this guy. And he starts into a tirade about why he's just not qualified and why he sucks. Like you want, you came here to fight vampires, correct? But you're afraid? How are you gonna manage? Get out of here! You're not qualified, not in my Dawn Guard. Ooh, let's see if we can get some block. It counts as combat, so it activates the alteration spell. What? Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm standing in defiance of chair, getting all the love. I figure if I keep chair out of the stream for long enough, by the time I bring back chair, everyone in chat would be like, oh, nothing really changed all that much. So maybe I overvalued chair's, you know, contribution to the entire show. You were right. We were wrong. Isn't that enough for you? Yes. So who are you? What do you want? What do I want? I want to listen to the exposition dialogue, damn it. But now I'm stuck here because you cut yourself off. Tell her about what was it? Dim Hollow. Yes, that's it. Dim How am I supposed to take this guy seriously with that facial hair? Yes, sir. E Isran. Didn't I tell you to step forward? Aw, uh, that's adorable. He's doing a little anime hesitate. What's your uh, weapon? I, uh, my weapon? <laughs> I mostly just use my, my weapon? Uh, Isran Senpai. <laughs> Sorry, I won't, uh, I won't make anime sounds anymore. Get a yoga ball, and then when you ride the horses, it'll be more immersive. That's probably the best idea I've heard in a long time. So where do we have to go to start the Dawn Guard quest? I presume all the way across. Yeah, yeah, all the way across the whole map. I don't know if we can take Serana the whole way. That doesn't feel in the spirit of what we're doing. All right, we're going to let him start the distraction, and then we're going to double down on his distraction to profit off of the distraction. Quick, everyone, gather round. My magical naked Khajiit will play you all a tune. This is a rare opportunity, and I wouldn't want you to get left out. That's what you said about the wisp essence, and it turned out to be crushed nerve root mixed I, with water. I see you back there. Well, that was a simple misunderstanding, but this item is the real Yeah, they're clearly fans of my previous work. They love the classics. Okay, 46 gold, I'll take it. Yeah, let's do this. It's gonna be freezing cold on the way over there, so we gotta get over quickly. One fear I have is that we roll up to this place and there's a lot of action on the outside. I do worry that there might be some kills and encounters on the outside. If we can keep the one random alive, that'll be good. That's a steel hammer, so I'm not even going to chance it. I missed. Uh, that about, that was it. That was about it. Whew. That was close. Don't, no, dude. I came here for a warmth checkpoint. I'm helping you. Where's Benor? This is a disaster. Benor! Benor, do not engage. Is that a bandit? It looks like Lydia. Oh, is that, please tell me that's Ben. Benor has lived. I love you. I love you, Benor. 
I hope you know that. All right, now to get up this hill and for something to kill me at some point. Oh shit, I've been in this room. Oh, we're so toast. Oh no, 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 wait. Actually, guys, can we not do this quest? Okay, I think they found Benor. Let's go for it. Stumble. Holy shit, they went down. Fledgling. Dead. Come on, Benor. No, are you serious? You lost to the dog. Of all the people, Benor. You couldn't beat the dog? Oh, I have no stamina. Damn it. We gotta wait for him to recover. He somehow pushes through that. I'm dead. Benor lived and he's got a cool little scar. All right, Benor looks cool. I mean, we got a lot of XP in that fight. <clears throat> I mean, I think we're close to like getting to a state where we're gonna be able to grind and level up our skills a lot more. Yeah, I'm not fucking around anymore. She didn't even hold on to the mead. She didn't let the mead ring out. <laughs> the riveting skill grind you were hoping for. Yep. I was going to end this stream like 45 minutes ago, but no, let's get the grinding out of the way. Okay, so now every time we go into combat, that's going to throw on. Hit him with a little of that bubonic sauce. Shield bash stumble. I don't think Banor's dying anytime soon. We got this. Okay, so we have two. Can it be active on two targets at once? No shot, they see me. The door, they, they detect me better with the door closed? Benor is just crazy. You're making me angry. Benor, you are making me happy. All right, we've got a little bit of a build forming now. We've got some camaraderie. The shield is communicating with my hand, the spells. We're starting to get something going here. You got this. boy. Two more. Dude. Nice. Big. Oh, shit, 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 shit. No, he's hurt. Shot in the eyeball. <laughs> You're good. Come on. It's a, just a flesh wound. Rub some dirt on it. Would you hurry up, Benor? Dude, Benor? I don't know what you're playing at here. Thank you. Was that hard? Was that so hard? You know what? I'm going to take the Dwarven Shield. This is going to be mine. All this progress, I don't know what to do with it. It's like my hands are full of success, and it's like, eventually at some point, I'll have so much success in my lap that some of it's going to spill off to the sides. The Tower Stone, are, are y'all saying, oh, isn't it? Isn't it on one of these islands? My only worry is freezing to death. I'd really like to not do that. So last night I had a dream that I started a series that was kind of tongue in cheek. A lot of times on, on stream, people will make jokes where like if I start drinking water or something, you know, something like that, and the microphone accidentally picks up some extra glugs, people will be like, oh, ASMR. I actually started doing like 90 minute streams that were ASMR related as like kind of a joke, but also kind of an excuse for me to essentially do a Skyrim Let's Play where I just whisper. I'm like, okay, and now we will be taking the tower stone. That means our buff on magicka skill increases is now gone. We finally have the ability to unlock chess. Look at those physics. Those physics are just fucking hilarious. Who would- Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, you poor bird! I forgot it won't go in my inventory. It just flops out. <laughs> Anyway, back to the, see, I could never do it. It's, it is not feasible. Something stupid is gonna happen and I'll scream. I could never do a stream like that. Did I say scream or stream? Same, Ben, ben or Ben or why, what happened? What, where, what in the fuck, what in the one, what get, where did he, what did he get, where, ha? Wait, I need an explanation here. I have no idea where he is. <gasps> You've got to be shitting me. The worst possible outcome. <laughs> it's, 
it, it, I'm okay with him dying. Not knowing where or how he died? We have to go find him. New goal, investigate Benor's death. This is terrible. As a giant storm kicks in, I'm naked. Oh, I'm dying. Okay, we need to find cover. There's a cave over here. Let's try to get into this cave before we freeze to death. This is really bad. This is like the worst part of the map to be stuck in while naked. Now I'm freezing. Okay, we are in fact dying. Shit, shit, shit. No, we cannot die here. If we die here, Benor probably despawns. We lose him forever. Sabercat, wolf, Shoot, what is it in front of me? This is really bad. Oh my God, this is dramatic. Zap and move. Fry and move. 48, it's all the way down to 48 already. We're dead. We're toast. I took the worst route possible. I can see the lighthouse from here. How are we doing on health? Health check 34. This is gonna be a really close call. Come on, Todd, let me up the mountain. I am numb. Uh, it's never good if the condition you're in is a Linkin Park song. I can't see. I'm blind. It's freezing cold. Where's Ben R? Not only am I heartbroken, but I'm freezing cold. Oh my god, we're in. Nice. Now I can relax to the soothing, calming sounds of multi-legged creatures in the basement. Mmm, <laughs> very soothing. I've never been happier to be here. I cannot believe we lost him like that. I just, I mean, it's hilarious. You know, the content part of my brain goes, oh, this is a brilliant arc. I don't know if you've caught on yet by now, though. The entire video is going to be mostly about getting my followers killed. He would have landed somewhere around here. You've got to be shitting me. I mean, by my calculations, <laughs> there's the bird nest. The egg went boop. It came out this way. It's perfectly reasonable to assume that he did in fact go try to save the egg, landed on this rock, ragdolled a little bit. Benor, you died a hero trying to save the egg. Oh my God, he is so much. We, we finally got our follower upgraded. <laughs> and this is how it ends. You fought hard, Benor. You died a hero. You saved my life multiple times and ultimately lost yours trying to save another precious bird life. Okay, it's not really cinematic when there's no river flow. <laughs> he just kind of lays there. I'm gonna go to rest with Benor here. Also, this is just gonna be effective fast travel. Very expensive fast travel, but I will donate to Benor. I'll give up some gold to be a hero with him. Take me with you, see? That wasn't very cinematic. You are too injured to continue. Please. What? That's just tragic. That, that might be the most tragic follower death I've ever had. I'm really upset though. I'll, I'll tell you what kind of breaks my heart. Not seeing it happen. It's always such a bummer. And one thing that I do try to always be conscious of when we're recording these, getting the shot. That That is something that I would call a money shot. It is. I don't care what the narrative of the challenge is. I don't care how it's playing out. That has to be in the video to some degree and not getting the shot of Benor falling off. That sucks. That hurts. That like hurts me in my soul. Still frostbitten. We got to get through the next 24. What are you talking about, Erender? I know I'm a cat, but I'm hot. You're talking? <laughs> okay. All right. I'm not going to lie. He has been face maxing clearly. So who do we add now? Erender can be new follower. Is that the guy who just insulted my looks? No, no, I don't want Erender to be my follower. He just insulted me. I do think that this is fun and there's a lot of charm in this adventure going completely wrong. I mean, remember when our original goal was like, yeah, let's do the, uh, let's become a vampire. Well, now it's become, let's just try to keep one follower alive. Let's just keep one person alive. It is not a goal of mine to fill this entire graveyard, but we're getting pretty close. Who's next on the chopping block? Yeah, it's not a reality show. Okay, we're not putting them up for elimination. This isn't Survivor. I was gonna say something. I was gonna bit here. Uh, <laughs> having a tough time with it here. New around Riften? Uh, okay, hey, hey, get out of here, hey. Get out of the way, come on. Everybody knows you're throwing that ass all around town, okay? Mercurio is mine. Why hire a common soldier to protect you when you can have a master of the arcane? Consider yourself hired. 
With a master of magic at your side, you'll have nothing to fear. Nice. Okay. Where do I get my marriage amulet? I have the best idea. Okay, Mercurio, I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to grab a bite to eat real quick, and then we'll plan our wedding. I'm not going to show up. Why would I ever get married to somebody whose only requirement is that I give them 500 gold? I'm worth way more than that. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna marry Mercurio just to leave him at the altar. That's it, that's the arc right now. See, Mercurio's problem is just because I eat food off of the floor, he thinks I have low standards. Couldn't be further from the truth. Is that an amulet of Mara? I'm surprised someone like you isn't spoken for. We just met yesterday. It's settled then. Brief as life can be in Skyrim, at least we'll have each other. I'd like to have a wedding at the temple. I'm in love, madly in love. The wedding will be held tomorrow. From dawn until dusk. It's an all-day affair. Our wedding is longer than the time we've known each other. I'll see you at our wedding. <laughs> well, maybe. Now, before we crush and shatter Mercurio's heart into a million pieces, how can we get some use out of him? We could probably use him to try and take out that first dungeon. Right? The Dawn Guard quest. Like, Mercurio's still rocking a soul patch. Come on. No offense to anybody in chat who has a soul patch. Spend 500 gold just to piss off your follower that has to help you? Yep. Another day. Who in Dagon's name are you? Huh. Suit yourself. Her hair ring should count as an inventory. Whoa! Why? Mercurio, save me! Save your fiance! Don't die now. I have a wedding to abandon tomorrow. Uh, good luck, Mercurio. He's actually dying. <laughs> we can't do this. Stop it. If he dies, that means he can't pay child support. Not that I'm going to let him impregnate me. Actually, no plans on that. Okay, this is a really close fight. Good work. All right, after a brief four hour delay, we can finally start the Dawn Guard quest. Hopefully not die. Room. Looks like decent damage to the Death Hound. Not too bad. Maybe we can put the dog down. Not like... You know what I mean. Listen, chat, maybe I've made a mistake. Maybe I should marry Mercurio. Got some vampire action in the back of the room. Oh, Skeleton. Can I just kill him? Wrong spell. Ooh, okay, that's a lot of red dots. Nice shot, though. Just obliterated the Skeleton. Vampire fledgling. Oh. What are you hitting them with? What is that? Is he turning them on our side? Oh, why would you kill it? He was on our team. See, this is why we can't be together. Or does it make them afraid? I think it makes them run away. That was easy. Crap, I'm out of magic. Ooh, that's bad. Actually, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Keep hitting me with that. Give me your power. Don't die. Oh, my, I let myself get... <laughs> I cannot believe I let myself die there. I mean, that was just pointless. I took my hands off the mouse and keyboard. Like, please give me your disease. I deserve to die there. That was very, very selfish and stupid. I'm all the way back in Riften. <sighs> I'll see you at our wedding. I'm a little upset that I just decided to die there. Well, I guess I didn't really decide to die, but I just accidentally died. It's Mercurio is gone. Okay, I want to see what happens, though, if we just don't show up. I will not be going to my wedding. I will not be attending my wedding. I have far more important things to do. Who would even go to my wedding? Like, who's going to be there for it? Camilla? It was oh, that's it. <laughs> it's just Camilla Valerius? Oh, this poor guy. So we know that Camilla Valerius is inside that church right now. For my wedding, I'm going to leave this, not go in, crush Mercurio's heart, and then marry Camilla. Okay. All right. This is the last time. I am not dying on this dungeon. I, do I bring a follower? Do I even need one? No, I can do this. I, I don't need a follower. I can do this on my own. I don't need Mercurio. All right. I'm breaking up with Mercurio to prove to everyone that I don't need him. I'm an independent Khajiit. Okay, there we go. Look, she's she's sitting on a cliff ledge. Okay, you know what this is indicative of? She's going to be caught in an animation in order to get up. There it goes. 
Now she goes through the little animation. Not taking very much damage. I don't... Oh, resisted putrefy. You bitch. Okay, that changes things a little bit. All right, 1v1. Okay, all right. Actually, uh, much harder than I had <laughs> any expectation of. At least we got the vampire germs. Damn, okay, she does good damage and I'm already out of magicka. Start punching. Why is that so much more effective than literally everything else? Backup came in. Heal up, try to hit me behind this rock. I know your brain won't allow you to. Yep. Told you all, I don't need Mercurio, okay? I'm better than Mercurio. Right hook. Dog? Shit, no, oh, that dog is scary and ugly and mean. Uh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, awkward pathing, boom, got it. You got a little bit of separation from the dog. It's gonna slow us down, so we need to stop the dog. Did that work? <laughs> Do you think I got it with my shout or did he get through? <laughs> wow, that is ugly. Shout out to whoever did the art for this dog's face. It worked. Oh my God, it worked. Okay, punch away. Dog down. We have two vampires now, one in back, one in front. Okay, they're gonna do decent damage. Oh, that was close. Ho, ho, whoa. That's how much health I had left. No way. I couldn't get the block off. We gotta prepare ourselves. Wait. <laughs> and nice try. Oh, you, that's so not cool. That's actually bullshit. That's rigged. No, the dog's gonna get me. Are you serious? I don't have enough speed to move away. Come on. No! Oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm actually gonna cry. I'm gonna... Uh, I gotta give it to him, though. I gotta give it to him, though. That was a good play. Finally decided to check his stream just to see you get killed. Ah, that was such a disappointing battle. I mean, the outcome was disappointing. The battle itself, that was fun as hell. <gasps> failed, attend your wedding ceremony. Yes, mission accomplished. Task failed successfully. <laughs> and we're back in Dawnstar, who is once again being terrorized by a dragon. Get inside, Allison. We're gonna find a sick-ass shield at some point, either in the shop or via a quest. It's gonna happen. Flame cloak that auto casts at combat start. Lipkin. Time, 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 time. That might be the combo. We might have cracked the code. So we want, boom. All right, so now we have no spells in our lineup. We want to have stone flesh. Okay, so we have stone flesh. We want stone flesh right at the start of combat since we can't use any inventory slots for armor. Stores the beneficial self-targeted, yep. Okay, it's gotta be a beneficial self-targeting spell. Still, we can probably find a few that are gonna be fun to use. Let's get that one favorited though. Heat seeking missile sounds entertaining. Yes, flame cloak is one that we plan on getting. Yes, yeah, something similar to that. If flame cloak doesn't work with Akato's recital, I'll be pretty sad. Flame cloak is on the beach west of Dawnstar. Well, I guess that's where I'm going next. I am on the beach. We are west of Dawnstar. It's not west of Dawnstar, it's east. Y'all, man. Ah, uh, flame cloak. Come here. Yes. Drench me in your flames. I swear to God, if this doesn't work. Fuck yeah, that's big time. All right, we got some power, finally, jeez. I'm dead. No, I'm not. Oh my God, I'm still alive, this is wild. That was a good fight though. I'm starting to, uh-oh, no way, man. No fucking way. I'm kind of getting fucking annoyed with all the losing I'm doing. It's kind of getting to me. No, I'm not sure what happened to Mercurio. You know, after we decided to abandon him on the altar, I might have to go back and see how he's doing. I can't believe you're speaking to me after what you've done. You've <laughs> <laughs> I never loved you anyway, Mercurio. But on the other hand, I saw what you did in battle. I saw how you sacrificed yourself for me. Can I have another chance, please? Oh, please. 
All right. Just because it's you. We'll try again. <laughs> Simp. <laughs> fucking speak to Maramel about <laughs> arranging your wedding. All right, fi fine. No, uh, th this is the most expensive relationship I've ever been in. But fine, Mercurio, come on. I I'm not marrying him again. <laughs> I plan on abandoning him a second time. Psst. Hey. Um. Why are you sneaking, Mercurio? Ooh, nice. You got some cash on him? Hell yeah. Nice. You've embarrassed the temple and spat in the face of love. What do you want? Wake up, okay? All right. Every, can everybody here just relax for a second? All right? Yeah, sure. I didn't go to my wedding. Chill out, okay? Now get out of bed and, <laughs> and go through the whole entire process again of setting up that wedding. Very well. We shall rearrange your wedding. These are the most forgiving dipshits I've ever encountered in video game history. These people are so fucking stupid. <laughs> it's like, uh, we, uh, we have reached nuclear levels of absolute moronicism. Death Hound, we just need to watch out for the dog. Okay, that's the cadence. I got the cadence now on the dog. So the way it works, the way we have to do it, if we want our build to actually be as effective as possible, it's block, and then the Death Hound has kind of a slow recovery animation. That's kind of how we can bubble ourselves, especially against the dogs. They have a move set that I'm not that used to. So I've never done this DLC on stream before. Hey, watch it. What are you screaming at me for? God, this is why I'm not marrying you. Master vampire. Okay, let's be careful here. Massive spider. Oh, come on, spider. Let's, there you go. Yeah, Mercurio, you go ahead. Oh, shoot. The gargoyles are pretty tough. Oh, that was kind of sad. Oh, crap, crap, crap. It's not gonna reactivate. Okay, so we have to take advantage of our flame cloak before it runs out. Vampire and low kill. How difficult is low kill gonna be? Doesn't matter. We have a human rail gun right over here. Yeah, that's the strategy. But I gotta be honest, it's not quite as fun as like slapping them with a sword. <laughs> I, I'd, I'd like to hit them or I, I don't know at least have like a missile that hits them I always love the puzzles in these this game you'll encounter like some dungeon divers they've been trying to crack the code on this thing for centuries <gasps> Laura Bailey wait a minute where's Troy Baker you guys are always a package deal but if you want to know the whole story help me get back to my family's home as long as you don't get in why would you say that Okay, that's not much of a missile. And they do a lot of damage. Who's that? Whatever, they all lived. All right, this shit's almost too easy. Except for when I take damage. Once I actually get hit, then it's not too easy. It's it's too much screen clutter. There's just like, there's a lot going on. There's like the shield bashing and the flames and the this and the that. What are you talking about? It's freezing cold. It's damn near a storm. Ooh, yuck. I gotta manually walk her all the way over there. No, we're going to Dawnstar. It's quick, uh, it's closer. 60. Increases false light damage by 10% and allows the perks Sacred Guardian and Under My Wings to hit and damage enemies. So we have false light. Um, okay, so it's like if I cast a healing spell on myself, then it would kind of just damage all the enemies around me. <clears throat> which is cool, but I think I want to ditch flame cloak and go with an actual kind of more normal destruction spell that can smack something. What is the build you're going for? I mean, it, initially sort of like a turtle, like a defensive turtle where my followers do a lot of the work. I can kind of chill, heal them and keep them alive. Play more of a support character. Ah, uh, let's not get frostbitten. I hate that. The whole being naked part is kind of tough. Holy crap, we gotta get to the castle, go! Oh my god, I'm running out of time. Well, how much time do I have left? I have 10 health! <laughs> Serana, go, get to the hell. Get inside! We're good, we're good, we're recovering. It's all right. Crisis averted. Before we go in there. Uh, daddy issues? No, nah, we're gonna go, we gotta go vampire. We. I need access to food consistently. Uh, I think we take the dominant position here and we really try to get into Lord Harkon's head. You're a reclusive cannibal cult. Let's, you know what, let's insult them again. I think that puts us in a power position. Not quite. Though I can see how an outsider might arrive at that conclusion. 
For centuries we lived here, far from the cares of the world. I definitely should ask for cash. I was about to suggest that very thing. Yes, you must certainly deserve a reward. There is but one gift I can give. Idle points. Equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. I offer you my blood. This is the power that I offer. Now, make your choice. I mean, I kind of have to. In terms of variety. Be still. Is he going to bite me? Or is it going to fade to black? There's no way he actually bites me, right? Oh, they're doing so much munching. She had her like entire head inside of that guy's torso. Did my game break? Present yourself to Lord Harkon at once. Present yourself to Lord Harkin at once. at once. It just kills me how his mouth has to like move that much. <laughs> like, why does it, why does it have to move that way? Where's he going? Where's he going all naked like that? Looks like it's broken. Okay, we can do it. The ancient blood, give it to me. Wow. Incredibly immersive. Okay, all right, yes, yeah, sweet, I'm a vampire lord. About damn time. Only 15 and a half hours. Do I even look like a cat? Ew. This thing looks gross. I can't even go into free camera. Oh, there we go. Oh, what? What? Why is it doing that? What in the hell? Our friend here has been ordered to fill the chalice. Really? Indeed. We got this. We're gonna be okay. The red water den. Well then. Best of luck. One inventory slot could be messing with it. You don't want to keep Lord Harkon waiting. Uh oh. Oh, we might have just had our first big problem. This might be our first issue with the quest item. We gotta somehow get this bloodstone chalice to the objective. I mean, on the bright side, we have the vampire lord transformation. That doesn't take up an inventory slot and it's fairly powerful. Don't make fun of how many saves I have, okay? All right. This is my collection of characters. A lot of people have Funko Pops. I have Skyrim saves. You will not take them from me. Wait, hold on, I'm dying here. Is this? Oh, this is my max speed. Oh, and I have no stamina. That's just brilliant. I might be, I might just die here. Well, okay, hold on. I can refill my stamina with Magicka, but I'm already in a really tough spot. There's a Thalmor base. Northwatch Keep is Thalmor, so we're probably way too underpowered to take that on. There's a couple of caves nearby. I'm gonna have to find myself in one of these caves so I can at the very least warm up. We might have to hopscotch our way around the map. Okay, all right, we're starting this off miserable. Okay, if I remember properly, the last time we were in this section of the map was when we played Skyrim Bingo. Oh my God, I'm out of magic. Straight up, nothing is recharging. I have no sprint. Weakness to fire. Oh, it's because I'm a vampire. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be so hard. <laughs> oh my. Okay, okay. Oh, we're gonna be all right. No, 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 being a vampire, it makes us powerful. We will have vampire abilities and we have a whole vampire perk tree. But yeah, the whole magic not regenning, that's, that's problematic. Lower steep fall burrow. <sighs> See, uh, they're probably ice wolves and look, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm really gonna be able to warm up in this cave. Okay, back outside. I do think I warmed up a little bit in there though. Or I, I at the very least I got out of sunlight. So I got some stam and magicka back. Ooh, okay. Interesting mechanic. We can still bop in and out of places if we need a refill. This looks like a bandit tower. If I can get into the bandit tower, possibly use vampire lord and wipe the place out. If I'm powerful enough, then we can warm up and, you know, get out of the sun. I got no idea what's in here. Okay, now we're like dying, dying. Oh, a hag. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, wait, wait. Oh my god, it really spawns me back here? It didn't spawn me on my last bed? Okay, though, so hold on, that's a problem. Oh, we keep quest items. Okay, all right, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, that's good. I was thinking that we would lose the quest item forever. Well, what the hell just happened? <laughs> was that like a reflect damage ability thing that they had? Chat is saying that Vampire Lord keeps you warm. Let's see. So I'm still hungry. Oh, you know what? There's a bandit camp over here. They have a little fire pit. Maybe we're strong enough to take out this bandit camp up here. I don't know if we'll be able to get there, though, as a vampire lord. But if we can take out these bandits, maybe we can feed on them. Ah, hold on. Maybe we're cooking a little bit here. Nice. Oh, this does big damage. Big time damage. Two down. Oh, this is. Ah! Nice catch. I think there's something wrong with the texture of the Vampire Lord, because I'm naked naked. I don't know. I mean, it, it's not it's not showing much. All right, now I'm just gone. Uh, can we feed? Hold on, let's see if we can feed on dead bodies. No, wait, do they have to be alive and sleeping? Failed. Attend your wedding ceremony. OK. Look, Mercurio can't be mad. If Mercurio knew half of what was going on right now, like it was a cutaway sequence in a romantic comedy, then he would know I'm under a lot of stress. Oh, they don't even have food in the barrel. Wonderful. Now I have two quest items. <laughs> Do I take Meridia's beacon? A new hand touches no, the beacon. No, 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 I did not. You're on your own, Meridia. Listen, hear me wait, wait, wait. No. All right, let's try and get Meridia's beacon to solitude. We're going to have to figure out where to store Meridia's beacon. Look at her. She's mobile. I don't even have to carry her the whole time. She will just roll on down that hill. Okay, no, too much momentum. So we almost have to kick this around like a soccer ball. Where did... Meridia? Oh my god, where did it go? Meridia, come back. <laughs> we can't lose you. I'm not, no, I'm not playing around anymore. It went, it, I, come on. Tell me it like got stuck under this rock. The hitboxes of the geometry here was a bit weird. Is Meridia gonna be upset with me? Dude, no, I wanna do Meridia's quest though. If we get that sword, we're gonna be able to make our follower really powerful. That's a great sword for a follower. You weren't lying. Meridia's back. Okay, all right, all right. We just have to get the English football of destiny back to solitude so it can kind of hang out in a safe place. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop, stop. That, it's going to get so much momentum. If we... Hold on, we got a little battle up here. That's strange. That's a huge group of Thalmor, but then it's two groups of Thalmor. We have one that can defend us. Cover yourself. Don't worry about my nakiness. You just keep pushing forward and protect the, the holy soccer ball. Man, it is so tempting, though. I really do want to see. I want to see how fast it gets if we roll it down the hill. It just seems it seems worth it. It's getting faster. Oh, Meridia. Oh my God, it's getting even faster. <laughs> it's going to be nuclear speed. Oh, it's slowing down a little bit. It's got some more speed back, though. Can it catch up to the Thalmor? Go, Meridia! <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We're losing a little bit of speed. Of course, the afflicted refugee has to kick it. Always got to get in the way. Come on. You just need a little bit more speed, Meridia. Don't lose it. You're about to catch him. Oh, is it going to turn? Oh, my God, it's turning. It's turning. Go move. Hit the hill. If it can actually turn the corner. No. Honestly, not bad, though. Okay, it looks like reloading my save just deletes Meridia's beacon. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Enough with the. Got it. All right. Nice. 
Meridia does not accept those who have not served her. Oh, don't tell me the game is going to do this. Uh-uh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, is it really going to do that? It's going to make me engage with the religion mechanics? Activate gem pedestal. Wait, was there, was there something I missed in there? This is why I need you, chat. A token of my truth yeah. buried in the ruins of my once No problem, I appreciate it. Meridia, can you not blind me? I'm gonna put this here. We'll leave it there. I doubt it stays. It's probably gonna despawn. Let's get up to solitude. We should be in safe territory now. This mod is good for one thing. It's for, you know, ditching Meridia's beacon. Nice and easy. There we go. Plenty of victims available. Ataf? That's not a name. Oh. Feels good. Okay, I am no longer hungry. Let's just get two for good measure. We're just gonna run down the whole line. Oh, there is, there's a cell sword at the inn. I have 362 gold. Okay, that means we put on one good performance. We might be able to afford them. Ah, oh, there's no one here though. But we can, we can hire this person. They might be 300? No, still 500. Belrind. I feel like he's a forgotten follower in this game. He doesn't really do much. I won't have to fight anything right away in Meridia's little dungeon. If we just go into the front door of Meridia's dungeon, we'll have some gold. We get a follower. Bing, bang, boom. We're right back on track. I still miss Benor the most. I miss, I miss Benor too. I hear angry voices. <gasps> the revelers. Oh, my best friends. Good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. Good to see you, my friend. How are you? You look tired. Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. Absolutely. I'd love to have one. Uh. Cheers. <laughs> that makes me feel like a dick. Like he handed it over. It's like that SpongeBob thing. Firmly grasp it, but it just falls right out. I, I can't. Thank God Meridia is so close to solitude. Yes, huge, big time. 25 gold, 40 gold. That's right. I forgot how incredible this dungeon is. Okay, you know what quest we're going to do? We're going to pick up. Let's do Redwater Den. It's just so hard to get excited over Belrind. It's how do I get excited over Belrind? Who, who is this guy? He doesn't even he doesn't even protect his abs. Well, there's just not a whole lot to get excited about there. Iron Sword? We're so fucked. All right, but here's the plan right now. I want to do the quest Bloodstone Chalice. Let's get that out of the way. We can knock off one of our vampire quests. Please tell me it's 30 to go to Riften. Oh, it's 20. I think we can feed on a bunch of people there so we don't have to worry about food. We're going to have to be careful about like the nine bears that are just outside of Redwater. Are we ditching Mercurio? Oh, I forgot about Mercurio. We'll go back. We'll go back and see Mercurio <laughs> after after this. Okay, this guy is so dead. This follower is so dead. There's l l there's three bears right in front of us. There, he's not making it out. <laughs> he's already dead. Oh, there we go. No. Oh my goodness. Spriggan matron. What is that? What's a spriggan matron? No, don't. What's Belrin fighting? Oh, Belrin has conjuration. And ice spike. Wait, I'm dying. Holy shit, this is really bad. Oh my god. I was afraid of three bears, but instead I get Spriggan Mother, Giant Cat. Maybe we can save the day. Transform. Slimy naked vampire. Okay, activate. Belrin, don't get yourself killed. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, 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 he's he's definitely going down. Oh no, I'm out of magic. Fly! Flap your wings or twigs, whatever. They just ew, they look like gross arms. Let's loop the cat back to these hunters. Maybe they'll fight him. Oh yeah, huge. What a play. <laughs> oh my God, Belrin. No, don't, do not get back in the fight. He's an idiot. He's an idiot. 500 gold. You know what? Just, yep, yeah, yeah. Just go ahead and die, dude. You're so useless. Absolutely. If, if we're tier listing these followers, he's bottom of the list. Nonsensical, idiotic. What are those vampire clothes on the ground? Are those supposed to be on my character? It's the dumbest thing I've ever witnessed in my life. And now I'm out another 500 gold. I mean, I appreciate the game attempting to paint coverage onto my my vampire boobs. Does that keep it? I have no clue. Is that TOS? So I think let me put on my thinking cap for a second. Everybody put on your thinking caps. Let's talk about this. OK, so if we look here, we have vampire lord armor. Right. The Vampire Lord armor 
must be given to the player when they activate activate vampire lord form because the bloodstone chalice is in my inventory when i use the ability to become vampire lord you see where i'm going with this the armor doesn't actually add to my inventory it plops right onto the ground so that might be what breaks the actual skin of the vampire lord either way i have to make absolutely damn sure i get to redwater den before i die because i don't want to spawn in solitude we'll, we'll spawn in solitude if we die he doesn't have my money where did it go what did you spend the 500 gold on crypto and lose it already he went options trading without my permission what did you do in the six hours i've known you that made the money disappear where's my investment i deserve a refund i paid you for a service you did not deliver that service and my money is gone all right we're safe made it hardly barely and a free block increase that is hot head on in and behave yourself oh hell yeah wait i thought you could just feed no we can't feed on them come on i'm hungry let me munch this person is busy yeah busy dying Find a booth. Hell yeah, let's get stoned. Oh, sweet. We can sleep as well. Let's get a couple hours. Ooh, it's going to make me hungry again. Ooh, wait, hold on. We need the tower ability back in order to unlock this door. Oh, no way. He caught me immediately. Okay, that's not good. Yeah, dunk back here for cover. Nice little dodge. Nice try. You actually thought you had me there. That's kind of hilarious. So I hate the uh, flame cloak spell, but I think I have to use it here just out of pure necessity to try and win this fight. We'll go flame cloak. This is probably going to deal some collateral damage. Nice, one down. Okay, we've got these two right in front of us. Let's get rid of our healing though so we can get our right hand free. It punches a little bit quicker. Okay, two down. Now we just have to deal with the fire mage. Huge, I should be able to take that key. Ooh, nice, and he has a healing potion in inventory. We'll take that, that's free heals, that's free money. We got a vampire thrall. Ooh, this is good timing. Okay, it's gonna activate our shield. Shield goes on. Don't want to use flame cloak because it's not a very fun spell, but I am going to throw it on. It's a vampire thrall. We just got to go one at a time. Archer up top, and that's a steel weapon. Ooh, that's good damage. Very good damage. I'm going to go vampire servant as soon as one of them falls. Wow, that's huge. Honestly, insane damage. Now I'm injured, so my max health comes down a bit. Okay, he's down. Oh, Vampire Servant is an... Oh, Vampire Servant is an ability. I'm stuck in a power attack right now. Not bad. Good timing. Let's go for it. Okay, two down. And if I'm not going to use a healing potion, then I'm going to throw on light armor. We'll throw on the vampire armor temporarily. We have to start making really economic plays in the middle of battle to win. Are you naked too? No, you're not fully naked, coward. Come on, let it all hang out. Wait, oh, wait, I, I'm not naked anymore. <laughs> of course, the one time I make fun of somebody for not being naked, I am also at the same time not naked. Too powerful. You better let me cast the spell again. Powers can only be once. <laughs> Why? On God's green earth, would it let. Oh, that's. I'm not happy about that one. I'm, I'm very upset about that one because that was the right play. That was the smart play. Instead, we get fucked for it. We need to fall back and we need to reapply Oak Flush. So that's what we're going to do. Fall back. We can force the Archer into close quarters combat over here. Good. That was a big play. Let's get our armor back. Unless, uh, what, what's that? What's going on up here? Why is it not? Hey. What are you doing to me? They're still back there in that corner. Would y'all shut up back there? Not a single one of them has gotten up to watch this fight. Okay, got another one down. Good. There's still a master vampire somewhere around here. I saw his little name tick up in the top. Telekinesis. Absorb the knowledge. I'm going to give myself a checkpoint in this place. That way, if we die, we're going to be right back in the fight. Now, I know for a fact there's going to be one person around this corner that's going to summon. So we effectively are going to have to fight three people at one time. Power attack. Okay, you got stuck. Ooh, hey. A little bit of a wrinkle there. 
Okay, I'm kind of getting my ass kicked here. Oh, no, I'm dead. Oh, come on. Barely made it out, and I'm lucky that the hitbox on those stairs kept me alive. I'm going to take advantage here. If they're not going to be able to get up the ramp, I'm just going to zap them. No, they made it through. Go shield again. We're finally back to our main little loadout. We can go turtle mode. Resist 25% ice damage. Is that a vampire passive? Just frost. Wow. 25%. 20%. Okay, that's not bad. Maybe I like being a vampire now. Okay, I somehow missed like everything there. Another one bites the dust. Oh, this keeps going, doesn't it? <laughs> I should have brought a follower. All right, arrows and trap. You won't fool me. We got our free cast of armor. Oh, yeah, that's uh, okay. We're done. I forgot about the death hounds. Completely forgot about the dogs. Worst part of this entire thing. Chain. <laughs> oh, don't tell me they know how to activate chains. That would suck. I hope they don't know how. We're just blocking them out. If you stand next to the door. Ooh. You're all so brilliant. I'm losing health, though. Why? Oh, this is a brilliant hack. We just need the Death Hound to go down. Come on, Flame Cloak. Oh, wait, wait, why am I? What's going on? I just took a ton of damage there, and I have no clue what happened. OK, they're really going to resurrect the Death Hound. Are we doing that now? Dog has damaging ice aura. OK, so we're literally fighting each other through the door. This is what arguing on the Internet is like but in Skyrim combat form. So what's going on back there? What's going on in their minds? I do have the advantage, mainly because I'm an actual human playing the game. They only exist within the context of said game. I better see a dead dog corpse right here. And if I, where, how did I not kill the dog? It must have fallen back. Yeah, they actually res the dog. There it goes. Okay, all right, dog turned into ash, nice. Now the dog is double dead, not coming back from it. Stone flush activates. I'm still going to do the exact same strategy and not apologize for it. Oh, uh, come on, dog. Push the door. This might be a bad idea. The dog should go down, but the dog's going to get rezzed. I need to abort mission now. <laughs> I need to abort mission immediately. <laughs> Stay behind your door. But that's good. Dog down. Dog probably gets rezzed here. After that dog turns into ash. Well, first we have to that one that we just heard. If you heard that in the background, that one goes down. Here comes the dog res. There it is. You hear it? OK, we have the game plan now. We kind of are understanding how the vampire operates. I think that's a big problem I ran into before. I haven't fought that many vampires in like the history of the channel. We got to really understand their moveset. I'm only seeing one red dot. I'm going to assume that that dog turned into soup. No way. That is embarrassing. <laughs> it's so bad. If I die here, I will be upset. Lost the healing potion. That's OK. We can still fall back a little bit. Stepped on the arrows. That's bad. Hit him with the Mike Tyson. Welcome to Hollywood, bitch. Sleep in coffin for magic resist. Is that a thing? You awaken feeling a surge of vampiric power. Get the fuck out of town. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's kind of huge, especially depending on what we might run into the rest of this dungeon. I want to one shot this dungeon so bad. Now I'm getting competitive. Is, okay, they heard me. They're going to push up this hallway right in front of me. Okay, it's just a thrall and they're fairly isolated. We have our armor. Let's try and take out the thrall if we can. Okay, fledgling's easy. Thrall, they might do okay damage. They got a steel sword. Nah, wasted it. There we go. That's the move set we want. Like, there's a cage over there. What are they? They got dogs and. Ah! No, 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 oh, you, you about had me. You about had me. I'm not letting it happen today. I'm being too careful. OK, there are dogs in there. There are death. They can't open the door. All right, sweet. They can't open the door. Nice. OK, then we're just going to come here, buddy. Come on. You want a treat? Want a treat? All right, fine. Stay there then. 
We're gonna whittle him down. Why kill them at all? We'll get some destruction XP, not a ton, but also on the off chance that this door opens up, two death hounds pushing me, I'm toast. Dogs eliminated. Dude, I need, I need mage light. I've never said this before ever in my time of playing this game. I think I need mage light. One dot, it is a dog. It is indeed a death hound. I know what to do. I got an idea. You guys are gonna have to hear me out though. This is the biggest hear me out I've ever had for you guys to so just like, I got this, don't worry. Ooh. Fall, come on, fall in the trap. There's no way you're smarter than this trap, fall in, go. I'm not falling in. Oh my God. Oh, how did he not fall in there? Get in, get in. Get in the trap, you little bastard. He's so close to falling in. Get, get, I, get in the trap. Oh, that is bullshit. He's, he's floating, come on. You gotta give me something, game. Fall, fall, die. Never return from the depths from whence you are going or came. However, it sounds cooler, whatever sounds better. I will stand here until you go down there, mister. There you go, there you go. Enjoy your new prison. Little dickhead. Okay, ooh, another one? You gotta be shitting me, another one. Okay, I can do it two times. I'm not scared, I will do this twice. Where is my, mm, <laughs> okay, this is tough. I'm gonna be slowed. I might've choked here. I might've blown this, but I'm gonna try to get out of it. Okay, we got a little bit of a stumble there. Yes, he's in. No, go back down. Got him, you little shit. You and all your annoying siblings. Stay in the pit forever. I'm not even gonna let him, you know, no, he's gonna stay there stuck. He's not getting up. Fuck you, dog. <laughs> I'm tired of him. I hate him. No, okay, really, really, I fell for it. I actually fell for it. I looked at that as a sign of safety. Do we try to put the master vampire inside of the pit as well? I'm gonna have to fall back though and think through it. Never come here. Although it sounds like he wants to draw a dagger. That's gonna do a lot of damage. There's two red dots. Who did he res? Yes, we locked out his teammate, he's solo. Or did they get through? No, they're running back. We got him 1v1. All right, and I think that dumbass dog in the pit decided to try and, okay, there's a lot of red dots. Where are all these red dots coming from? Where did you come from? I gotta get him back on that first level. He came around quick. Oh shit, I have nowhere to run. Psych, I do have a way to run. That would have been so fucking badass. <laughs> that, that would have actually been the coolest thing I've ever done on the channel. We're going into the other room. How did they both teleport? They both teleported, someone just drew. Luckily we have our shield still. Shit, there's three of them. Okay, that's not, that's not good. We're gonna try and have to work this one out. No, nah, I'm not using Vampire Lord. They're technically undead. Will Bone Spirit kill them? Let's see. Yeah, oh yeah, it hits. It just killed someone. Okay, so. No, it's a trap. It's a trap. I fell into the dead end. Oh my God, come on. Can I get out? I can probably shout and make them stumble, but damn, it's gonna be a close call. I gotta heal and shout. Now we have to get out of this room. We have one of them dead. I gotta get out of the room. They're both draining. I have a decent amount of stamina. Can I afford a shield bash? Or are they both gonna melee me when I try to get out of here? If anything, I'm gonna shield bash the master vampire. His melee hit's gonna hit me harder. I'm injured again. My max health is down. My shield just went away. Oh fuck, which way was it? I'm getting all turned around. Can we at least break? Please tell me we can break the encounter. I should have cast a heal. Encounter broken? Woo! I live. 
Honest, honestly, that was really, really fun. Now, granted, more fun because I won, or, well, hold on. <laughs> Time out. Hold on a sec, we're not quite there. But I wanted to shout that flame pot and try to get it to land on top of him. That would have been really fun. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Come on, man. Just let me live. I can't take a hit. I don't have enough health. Let's keep looping him around. We're gonna find an opening here soon, but we just have to stay patient. Where are you? Where are you? Other side of the room? He's gonna push this door? Where's the pot? I can't jump. Got him. Yes, we got him. Fuck yeah, it worked. I think now we have to go for it. That bone spirit thing sucks, but it's a huge hit. I think I need to try and get bone spirit on him again. We go to the other side of the hole. Now we go bone spirit again while he's on the other side of the hole. He won't be able to power attack us. Wrong spell. Holy shit, that's close. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Let's go! Vampire armor of quickening. Oh, that's badass. I would love to have it. Ah, oh, I am so hyped. I am so hyped that we got him. One shot. I don't need a respawn in this dungeon. I am getting through it. I don't need vampire lord, okay? All right, I believe in my Azura given vampire ability. Sorry for emulating teabagging. I apologize. Sorry for the cringe. We've got a critical injury. That's blade and blunt. So the balance mod that we have for combat balance, yeah, if you if you get hit real hard, your max health is gonna get cut down a lot. Can there not be? Yes, that was the garage again. Yes, that means my sister probably heard me screaming the whole time or fake teabagging my chair. Gosh, it keeps going. <laughs> I'm so ready for this dungeon to be done. Ah. <laughs> Okay. Okay. All right. All right. That was that. That was actual. I'm wearing brown pants, so take that as you will. It's gonna be a trap. It's always a trap. I swear. The game is designed for me to step on traps. Oh my god, that was almost the end. I could feel it. I could sense it. Oh shit. It. Okay, great. Now, yeah, more. Awesome. Just what we needed. Venar. Oh, he's a unique. Okay. All right. Uh, this is totally over and I'm dead, but I have one Hail Mary that I'm about to throw. How did you get through? There is no conceivable way that an NPC gets through that hallway without stepping on a single trap. My dude, no, that's not how it works. That is horseshit. No, I'm throwing the, the red challenge flag. I want to redo. That's bullshit. <laughs> Come on. No, I wanted to get through this dungeon without a failure so badly. I wanted it so badly. One down. If we break the encounter, they might be forced to walk back through that hallway. We can reset the encounter. Game over. Later. See ya, nerds. Get fucked. See ya. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're going. Oh, it's gonna work. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, please, please. Don't tell me they were perfectly programmed to dodge all of the traps. I'll be so pissed. I can't believe this. Hit it, hit it, come on. Go, go. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not happy right now. I need to talk to the manager at Bethesda Navmesh. Come on. I mean, it's simple. It's simple as getting them right on this corner and shouting the traps to activate. All we have to do, we just have to activate the traps. We can do that. Ah. 
I hate this game. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta be honest, y'all. I'm heartbroken. I really am. I wanted to get through this one unscathed. I mean, we were. Watch, I'll, I'll do it here, and the exact way I said it would happen is how it's gonna happen. But, oh, it's gonna feel deflating. It's not gonna feel as good. You're like, is that a trap thing? It is. That's what killed me. That little rock. How many of these are in Skyrim? They just, you can't change the rules on me like that. Once again, Todd, come on, man. Let me live. You see, I'm so disappointed now. Oh man, I'm so disappointed. I mean, like, obviously thrilled it worked, right? I love the vindication. I love the vindication that it worked, that, you know, my brain is not actually just a continually swelling marshmallow that smoothens as it presses itself against the inside of my skull, right? The enlargening of my brain does actually lead to some fun solutions. However, I'm just sad that the solution had to come after completely blowing it. But that death will make great content. That death will make some good content. Watch that not be the dungeon boss. Watch the... Ugh. No. There's not another fight, is there? Yeah, they still want to kill me. Am I locked in? Oh, okay, I'm not locked in. I almost shit my pants. How in the fuck am I alive? I gotta get their attention somehow. I have to get them in this hallway. We gotta go exact same plan of how we took out the dungeon boss. I don't understand, can they not see? Okay, he's gonna come in hot. No, yes, got her. One down. Okay, second guy is about to charge in. I don't have my shout. I can't get around him. Am I able to zap the trap? Is there any spells I can use? Telekinesis? You're all crazy. You're all absolutely insane. Oh, there's no way this works. No, let me TFC. Let me at least see if I got him. We activated the trap. You gotta let me see if we killed him. Oh man, and I didn't get to capture that. I'm so sad. Do you guys know how fucking cool? That, that is what I refer to when, when we're like putting the video project together. That is a money shot. I mean, we didn't really blew it. It's still gonna be fun to show off and kind of explain what I was trying to do there. Oh, geez. Okay, all right. One of them's gonna be following closely. I would not be mad if we we're able to separate the second enemy. Oh my Lord, I about landed on it. All right, she doesn't have the lightning bolts. She has to be much closer to deal any damage anyway. She's pretty close though. How in the frick do I miss? I suck at this game. I can still do this. This is gonna be okay. We'll live, let's get our healing up. I'm actually not scared. Never was scared of her. Ring around the Rosie. One down. He's really tough though, because he's got a lightning bolt ability. He basically has, you know, fantastic aim. But I guess we'll try and aggro, because he's gonna turn. And there go the bolts, yeah. This little dickhead, follow me, he won't follow. <laughs> I need him. There we go, okay, you'll get that little quest marker moving. No way he got me. <sighs> Holy shit, that was close. <laughs> oh my God. He got me right on the ass. Is he coming? Yeah, he's pushing. Please, please work. Please, Todd. Don't stop right there. 
Oh, blue balls, come on. <sighs> okay. Okay, we're done. Am I supposed to activate it? Ah, oh, fuck it. Why would I not drink it? When in Rome, right? Tainted blood of the ancients added. Your vampiric drain spell absorbs magicka and stamina from your victims for one day, but at the cost of 30 less health. Yo, I, is that gonna kill me? <laughs> My health is getting so low. Fine, whatever, we'll slurp it up. Mmm, that thick metallic goodness. That was probably the most fun that this challenge has ever been. And it didn't even, it didn't even involve getting one, you've contracted severe bone break fever. When did I get bone break fever? This is the last thing I need. After all of that nonsense to just immediately be judged for my lifestyle. I'm chill. Watch the magic. Fuck you, officer. Okay, <laughs> straight up, piss off. I've had a long day. I've had a rough day. Yeah, what's your problem? All right. So, okay, maybe this is why I didn't show up to the wedding because the only thing you do when you're not with me is you sit on your bench and you eat bread and you complain. Yeah, yeah, you look at, yeah, you would. Hmm? The only person you have ever made love to in our relationship is that fucking loaf of bread. What do you have to say for yourself? I can't believe you're speaking to me after what you've done. You broke my heart. <laughs> you've broken my heart. I'm eating away my sorrows on this piece of bread. I never loved you anyway. It's time we move on from Mercurio. Get out of my sight. <laughs> Can I still hire him? You want to talk to me after everything you've done? You seem to be a little short on coin. Come back and see me when you've got the gold. You're right, AJ, that, that does make sense. Okay, so we could still hire Mercurio after breaking his heart. <laughs> and why, I love how the only option for no, I don't want to marry you is, I never loved you. I always hated you. It's like the most evil That's response you could give in a breakup. Brand Shea, we don't really like Brand Shea. So nice that this actually gets rid of hunger. Actually, hear me out. This would be really, really cool. So if you're a vampire. What do you think you're doing? Don't even think about it. Oh. Help. Oh, shit. Is someone there? That's not good. Get out of the way. But out of the way, please. Okay. What are you going to do with that toothpick? Fools, what are you doing? Put, it, put, put, put the toothpick away. Okay, he's not going to. Oh, my God. I might die. I might die here. Let's make him stumble. Get out of the way, please, people. Hold on, the guards aren't on me. Do I even have a bounty? East March? Not the rift. I don't like Tithus Ulin. Okay, let's not die. Now it's murder? It was purely self-defense. You got me. Problem is your disrespect for the loss of this land. It's time to face the Jarl's justice. Why do I keep getting that dialogue? That's not the dialogue when you arrest someone. Please follow the script. Please say your lines correctly. I guess going to jail is not that devastating, right? After a solid three hours, quest complete, baby. See you have returned. Lord Harkon will be pleased. You met Stolf and Salonia, I assume. Lord Harkon and I suspected they might follow you there. Am I on the side of the vampires? At what point am I on like the vampires team? Because I've only killed vampires so far. Now, I believe that Lord Harkon wishes to speak with you. Your Fair enough. I better be getting some kind of promotion. Both because the quest line almost obliterated on itself all over the place shattered into a million pieces we had to console command our way to fix it and because i kind of kicked ass in that mission now that i have reclaimed one of my elder scrolls we must find a moth priest to read it it will be done it's kind of funny you how you're going to find a moth priest skyrim's a pretty big place where is serana talking to me from is she behind me oh she's back there i was like where the hell is she talking to me from 
it's kind of funny the the order that Harkon just gave to like his entire guild. He basically told them to go out into the world and do the Morrowind thing, which is just click rumors. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I don't think you want to do that. Serana, I, I truly don't think you want to go on an adventure with me. I, I, you're not safe. The tale of the great moth priest hunt. Not something I'd want to read. Uh, uh, hold that thought. I'm freezing to death. You know no, no, no. I, I, I would love to hear about your backstory and all that, Serana. I'm sure you're, like, pretty cool. But uh, I'm going to freeze to death if we stay out here. Yeah, this sucks. This route back to solitude although i don't even know if this is more effective i can't cast my healing spell so i won't be able to sprint i think this might be i, I might officially have to mark this as my least favorite segment of the skyrim map i think i officially after all this time i think i finally have a least favorite location on the map why am i dying my health looks full oh 43 okay i'm freezing to death i was hoping i'd be fast enough to outrun the cold Get indoors, or... Oh, think maybe you can drag me there, Serana. At least when you're transformed, NPCs won't get mad at you for having your kajubis hanging. Well, I mean, they'll still, they'll still be mad at me for having these. They look like legs. They'll be mad at me for having those hanging out. Traversing the map as Mr. Burns. Oh my God, it does. It's rah, rah. Even rags would be preferable to your current wardrobe or lack thereof. Here we go. I gotta give her credit though. Could you imagine the confidence for her to go up to this, to this, this, this thing? Oh, oh, I guess. Okay, now, now my game's gonna be really broken. Oh, what did I do? What have I done? My scroll wheel won't work right now. Clicking doesn't work right now. Yeah, I definitely broke it. Trying to TFC. How did the bears? You're not running away, are you? You're running away? The horses are allowed to run away. It's kind of funny watching the horses panic. Oh my God, why is there a bear here? <laughs> why is this currently happening? What are you gonna do about it, Blaze? You putting your dukes up? You gonna defend the homestead? Why, why am I responsible for defending this farm? No! Oh, stop! No, I'm in my anti-bear circle. You stay right there. Back away slowly. Thank you, Serana. Appreciate the assist. Oh, you don't like the ice suppositories going up your ass? Yeah, you shouldn't have attacked this poor family. And you killed my horse. I was going to steal that thing. Jesus, this guy's going... <laughs> Oh, Serana, friendly fire. Why is the goat? What is happening? Victory is yours. I submit. Okay, all right, I guess I win. I mean, that's kind of a cinematic way for him to go out, though, no? I got caught. How? I don't... What did Serana tell on me or something? Serana, you're not supposed to. Serana, when the you know when the fight ends and I pay off my fine. When, when Serana, when the. Lisette. Serana's Lisette. <laughs> Sounds so silly. Um, okay, you know what, Serana? Fair play to you. Guy was kind of a dick, so, uh, <laughs> so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you. <laughs> Serana's sick. Oh, you didn't have to kill the bard, though. Why'd you have to do it in such an aggressive manner? Did you really have to spike her through the side of the head? How long is Lisette going to be around? Is she going to be around forever? This is the chillest zombie I've ever seen. <laughs> just, just post it up. Hmm. Mm. Investigate the scene of the attack. Mr. Resolving, where are you going? Oh my god. 
I have new orders for you. Prepare an ambush just south of the Dragon Bridge. Take the Moth Priest to Four Bears. Hold out for safekeeping until I can break his will. All right, Serrano, let me handle this. I'm a professional. Okay, I've been doing this for quite a while now. I can't believe it's been that. It took us that long to go from one quest to another. This looks really difficult. I don't know, you start seeing unique layouts and everything like that. It scares me. Oh, armored trolls? Dawn guard? I'm screwed. I still have my buff in shield. That's good. So let's go flame cloak. Dodge him. Get our fisticuffs out. He's going to power attack soon and we'll sidestep him. Or he runs? Or not. How the fuck did he get me? Oh my lord, he's close. Ah, dead. Woo! Okay, Serana, you do your thing for a little bit. I'm gonna run all the way around here. Go right around the back. Oh, Serana's getting smoked. Someone just hit me from behind. I think I got hit with a crossbow. See, this is why I don't want to use... Oh, God, he missed. All clear. I'm surprised he didn't get me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big time. Huge combo. He's going down to a knee. Later, dude. Absolutely destroyed. Super underwhelming, though. Not going to lie. Although I am kind of glad to, <laughs> I guess, complete another quest relatively easily compared to the last one. The last one was a lot. How am I supposed to do? walk in here? Oh, who is this guy? You the moth priest? Defeat the enthralled. Ha, oh, he missed somehow. I am so very lucky. Running, I'm running, I'm running for my life. It, it is an absolute scene down here. How am I alive? <laughs> you got this, Serana. Or miscellaneous imperial guy, you got this. Yeah, I'm rooting for you both. Feed on the moth priest to make him your thrall. We got really, really lucky there. I mean, that was like slim, slim percentage chance we survived. We probably don't survive if we didn't get that alteration perk. That's so exciting. We get to do another long trek all the way back to Volokar Castle. I can't fucking wait. I just don't want to go through that area of the map again. I fucking hate it. I actually really don't like it. Shit. I don't know. See, like when I'm out here, I'm cozy. You know, I'm comfortable. I love it. This is my area. This, for me, this is home. This is like putting on a glove, you know, but in video game form. Or being wrapped in a warm blanket. That's what it feels like. Like, pow. Wow, Thalmor, again, not very surprised, but it's cozy, comfortable, feels good. Nothing beats these views, this weather. You can smell the river, you smell the salt coming off the top of the water as it white caps, and it sucks. It sucks ass, I hate this part. Uh, we died a few times last stream with basically no punishment, so let's start this one off. I'll pay a few rounds of taxes here. I don't have that much money, so it's not that much of a punishment. Is the vampire weirdness fixed? Honestly, I don't think so. I'm not sure. We're not going to worry too much, though, about the Dawn Guard quest line anymore. I looked into it a bit. It looks like we're going to get soft locked pretty soon here. Also, the game wants us to go chase down Elder Scrolls and whatnot. We need to find my mother, Valerica. I, I don't really want to do this right now. I want to go get the Targe of the Blooded. We have to get to fast travel in some way. We need to go to Dawnstar and then we need to find Alftand. It's somewhere around here. Uh, I think it's like right here. I think it's right in between Dawnstar and Winterhold. But we got to go to Alfton. That's a good. Ex OK, fine, fine. You want to explore the castle? Are we, are we... I don't even know if I can do that. No, yeah. I'm standing on what business today. I disagree. What? You can't just disagree. OK, well, <laughs> no, I want to move on from this quest. I disagree. That's it. That's all you got to say. I, th I think we should. OK, how, how do I say this? Um, it's not working out. <laughs> it's it's not you. It's me. I disagree. OK, so you think it's you. So you're accepting blame for this breakup. Well, OK. Oh, wait, hold on. New option. You can't get rid of me that easily. Oh, my gosh. I have objectives that you really can't comprehend. More important than Elder Scrolls, more important than daddy issues, more important than finding your mother. 
Okay, I need to find a shield that I can bash people with effectively in combat. Wait, wait, why, why are there bad guys here? <laughs> Have y'all not checked this portion of the castle? It's fairly close to the entrance. You're saying there's that many hostile entities. Oh my God, he has so much health. I'm dead. <laughs> really? Please don't kill me. Oh, I took that one right to the throat. Bone Spirit should make this guy stumble, but he's gonna hit me with a little jet stream of frost, which is bad. Unless I can dodge him. Looks like we did. No, we didn't. Still alive. Come on, Serana, keep carrying. Oh Christ, she's down. Last part of the series, killing that final boss, Skelly. I got no clue how this is gonna go, but we need to get this quest out of the way. I am tired of Serana. Not that you, I got nothing against Serana, but it's just, you know, I'm, I'm ready to have the threat of my potential follower dying again. It's very fun. What is happening? These are skeletons. Get in. We in? We good? Ah, uh, where the hell did you come from? you come from? Hey, I just asked the same thing. All right, maybe we keep Serana around. We're kind of on the same page here. Oh, nice. Hostile death hounds. Bone spirit's decent at slowing them down a bit, and it does fairly good damage. If Serana can tank, maybe she doesn't take our healing, but she'll... Oh, God, the dog turned on me. Why? Why you attack Serana? She's right there. Why do you gotta attack me? All I'm doing is punching. Okay, this is really hard. <laughs> this is very, very hard. Ah, oh, God, why? Why does it always have to be Bone Hound or Death Hound? Whatever it is. Bone Spirit, Death Hound, getting them confused. I'm going, oh my God, I fell in the spike trap. <laughs> I, I thought it was safety down there. You know, I saw a different level. It looked appetizing, you know, going down there. It looked like there was safety. What was that? Why? Oh, this is kind of fucked. Is this where like the dead bodies of all the people that they eat upstairs come to? Like this? What is that? Serana, I thought we just bit people, you know? Bite them in the neck, maybe a little tickle, blood transfusion, but nothing more than that. This is full on torture. Yeah, yeah, she's got this, she's got, she's doing good damage. She can handle this. I'll just support her from the back with the occasional, oh my God, why did the dog Get in the, why are you attacking me? All right, it was clearly an accident. If I die to this fucking dog, I swear. We're good. That, that was a close call though. I, I really want to get out of here. Is this where we get immersive sad backstory? She would have hated to see it like this. Wait. Yeah, sounds good. I'm a little chilly. Can we get in, can we talk about this inside? Maybe around a fireplace? Don't, don't, don't tell me. Don't tell me. I know, I, I know I can solve the puzzle. So I have to go into this castle and find five separate moon. Oh, oh. Oh, th thank God they're just out here. I know there's somebody out there right now who's like, oh, he's never gonna get this right. No, I don't even need help. I got this. And on the first guess. Yeah, I know there's something strange. Serana, do you not see me solving the puzzle? Look, I'm only doing this to get rid of Serana. This is all in an effort so that we can effectively break up and move on. If I complete this quest and I still can't get rid of Serana, I'm just going to disable her and get, get her out of the game. Okay, we're definitely getting attacked by those skeletons. See? See, I, I just, I always know when it's going to happen. Come on. Somehow. Somehow alive. There you are. I think there's one left. Not bad. I thought we were gonna get our asses kicked there. Now we're getting, okay, now it's the gargoyle. I was waiting for the gargoyle. Oh, okay, all right, okay. I don't wanna be in here anymore. Serana, you got this. Uh, she just handles it so easily. It's why I love you, but also why we have to get rid of you. I hope you can understand. I have to go out there and be my own warrior or take care of somebody far less capable in battle until they eventually and heartbreakingly die. I'm tired of dying in this dungeon. I wanna just get through it, get this quest over with and then move on to more fun, more significant goals. What do we have here? Vampire Royal Armor. Now hear me out. What do we got here? Magicka Regen- Oh! Oh yeah! At least just in this moment in time. I don't necessarily need the shield right now. Ooh, that is very good. You know what? There's coffins here. 
let me can i sleep yes all right we get our sleep we have one potion left that's gonna get us our food full hunger full sleep magicka regen is gonna be through the roof also i will say at the very least if we do this quest then i'm very satisfied with the progress we made in the dawn guard storyline before we get into our final whatever our final goals end up being fit check Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Okay, let's check the. Wait a minute. This is just Serana's outfit. I do think. Okay, there is some charm to, you know, two badass vampire sisters separated at birth. Y'all both look stupid. What? I think you're just a hater. I literally think you, that that's just you being a hater. Okay, maybe I actually have to read the journal. Harkins' short-sightedness is becoming a serious. Wait, why would why would the mom talk like that? <laughs> Harkin's short-sightedness is becoming a serious problem. I've warned him time and time again that his foolish prophecy would cast far too much light on our people, and yet he refuses to do as much as listen to a word I say. I've become less a wife and more an annoyance in his eyes. Devoting attention to my work is the only solace I can find while enduring his ridiculous crusade. This is the next day, 28th of last seed. I've had a breakthrough today. I was able to attune the portal vessel to the soul cairn properly. Oh, soul cairn. See, if you didn't spoil it earlier, I would have read that line and been shocked. Properly by using a small sample of ingredients. Uh-oh. This might softlock us. Although the portal opened only for a few seconds, I'm confident that with the proper formula, it can be sustained indefinitely. I feel like I'm missing a key ingredient, something of sufficient potency that can resist the forces trying to prevent my intrusion. Communing with the ideal masters has provided worth has proved worthless. They speak in riddles and offer no assistance whether I ensure them a steady supply of souls or not. If I'm to escape Harkin's clutches, I need to keep the portal open long enough to carry me away from here, forever if need be. Third of Hearthfire, several days later. I've done it. After wasting thousands of gold coins on components, I've discovered how to sustain the portal. I'm listing the components below. Thank you for finally getting to the point here without proper, without the proper amounts for my own protection. As a secondary precaution, I'm combining my own blood into the formula, which should prevent anyone from being able to duplicate it and follow me into the soul cairn. False, I have your daughter with me. The formula consists of finely ground bone meal, purified void salt, soul gem shards. Using the proper measurements, place the above in the silver lined portal vessel and add blood as a reactive agent. I will make my way into the soul cairn tomorrow after I gather my things and prepare for a potentially lengthy exile. More importantly, I must enact my plans with Serana and get her to Dim Hollow Crypt as soon as possible. So am I supposed to just like add this to my inventory? Oh. Yeah, that's literally all I had to do was pretend to add it to my inventory and then we were good. Uh, all right, yeah, no, I think this is where we get completely soft locked. Having trouble finding those ingredients? No, no, I'm fine. I, I will find them, okay? I'm not gonna pull over and ask somebody. We'll just, we'll be good. Okay, this is the perfect opportunity. She's gonna think that we've gone on a quest to find the ingredients. We avoid the soul cairn. However, I gotta find a way off this castle from here. <laughs> Can I survive? Can I somehow get down there? All right, new challenge. I will get down and escape the castle, leaving Serana behind forever. Now, it doesn't look like there's any geometry for us to get caught on on the way down. The only thing I can think of is we take off our armor and we somehow collide with the armor on the way down. Okay. That was embarrassing. <laughs> that was fucking embarrassing. Does Vampire Lord still take fall damage? Okay, maybe Vampire Lord doesn't take fall damage, but I gotta be honest, this looks like a... I, I, I know, maybe, maybe, but this also would be really fun if we pulled off this. <clears throat> Close. Okay, all right, now. No, no. No! God, it was so close. <laughs> I don't care how many times I die, I'm going for this. <sighs> Fuck, it, if I leave, it goes too quickly. What the hell? Fuck! Come on, I got this, I got this. I'm gonna lock in. No, not quite. Yeah, there's no point, there's no point to that one. <sighs> Fuck you! 
Oh, man. This is most likely the dumbest thing you've tried doing in Skyrim. The dumbest thing I've tried doing in Skyrim so far. No, okay, that was it. That was it. That was the best we were gonna do. We land. Oh, we landed twice. We could have landed twice. Land, land. Oh my gosh, it worked. I don't want to get in the water here. I might have to though. Quick little dip. You know what I think happened? If we went back and we did that kind of in slow motion and we broke it down, I think the invisible wall to our right, I think that that helped line up the armor underneath us as we fell. I'll tell you what, it feels good. Feels very good to complete arbitrary, nonsensical things like that. All right, we're gonna take the boat across. Ice water jetty, land here, hang a Roger, go around the corner, land into some better weather than taking this absolutely fucked route back to society. We get up to solitude, we take this, we land in Dawnstar or we have to, we have to get a new companion. We have to get a new follower somewhere. Not sure where we get them. Once we land in Dawnstar, head through the tundra, the tundra, try to find our way to Alt-Tand, alt -fand, whatever it's called, because we need to get the Targe of the Blooded. It's the shield that deals bleed damage. It's going to be crucial for this build. When will you drop the gold for all the deaths? There. Now, east to solitude. We get some money. Uh, who should we take as our next follower? Anyone have any ideas? Followers that are unavailable. Feindall. Sven. Whatever is attacking me. I would not consider them a follower. Lydia. Dead. S Serana. Gone. Janassa. Dead. Belrand. Idiot. Belrand got himself killed within five minutes of meeting him. If we were going to tier list the followers, he's in last place. Benor, don't remind me. Do you I'm not going to fix my relationship with Mercurio. Also, I need another 500 gold. Eric the Slayer. Don't we have to do Eric the Slayer's quest? Okay, let's fast travel. What can I do for you? Someone do something! The problem is your dis- Ooh, ice cold teleport. You know what? There's a decent little crowd here. Six people. Let's play a naked concert. Oh, the executioner is really loving this. He has a harsh life. He cuts off a lot of heads. He's got to, you know, he's got to have some hobbies. Where are your robes? Oh, you're right. When they gave me the prison rags, I lost my armor. Does that mean my armor? Oh, it's right here. What do we get for gold? 74? That's enough to get us to Dawnstar. Just pay for Eric's. Oh, you don't even have to do a quest for him? Okay, really? Maybe they'll all be distracted by the dragon and I can... Oh, wait, if this dragon's gonna attack, this is a big opportunity. They always give us a good amount of gold. That's the thing they've been best for. Okay, I don't really want a bounty, but I'm gonna take it. Appreciate the horse. Catch you later. <laughs> He's hiding out. It's like hiding in the corner just because it took a little horse. Damn, I wish we got that dragon to follow us. Damn, I was thinking that uh, Dragon's Bridge was Rorik's dead. It's not stupid Mercurio. I've given Mercurio like a thousand gold in alimony. I'm ditching the horse. Getting around the map has been quite the burden on this challenge, much more so than others. Although now that we're done with the castle, finally, it'll be a bit easier. It'll, it'll lighten up just a little bit. That castle, though, holy crap. All good, made it to town. Let's go get some free food from the neighbors right across the street. Take care of Eric Kerr in the morning. Eric, not Eric Kerr. Okay. All right, now. they have extra security here for their salmon steaks. All right, let's see what Eric needs. I am ready to get this adventure back on the road. It is a lot harder to just randomly get followers than I thought. I, I mean, granted, I've killed quite a few of the easy ones. I want to be an adventurer like you. My father says I can't. Don't worry, Eric, I'll show you some adventure. Your days of exploiting your son are over. Exploit him? What's that supposed to mean? Eric works the farm because he's a good lad. No, it's because you I'm forcing him to stay here. I know that he wants a life of adventure, but I've told him before that I can't afford to buy him armor. Oh, but you can afford to pay for multiple workers? An inn that's constructed sturdily? 
that has survived both the war and the farms, I, I feel like you have a pretty good amount of money. All right, 259 gold, or we pass the persuasion check. I got a good feeling about the persuasion check. I, I cannot deny the truth of what you say. Eric is all the family that I have left. Boom. It's wrong to hold him back as I have. You won't tell Eric that I've changed my mind. I'll see about borrowing some money in Whiterun for his armor. Why do you need to borrow money? 250 gold. It's not that much. Honestly, based on adventuring with me, I think it's worth the risk. If he can't even afford a simple suit of armor, then send your son off with me. He'll make way more money than here at the farm. Let's see what we can do. Immediately getting hit with an orcish two-handed. That's fun. Yeah. That's how a true Nord fights. Yeah, I had a feeling that would one tap. That's a lot of health. Looks like I can tap him with this on the other side of this pole. Oh, that was close. One down. I am on the side of the bandit for all of 2.2 seconds. That was a dumb idea. That was very stupid. Get inside. Oh my God damn it. How do I always do this? I should have taken that opportunity when they were fighting to just run away. Oh, there's a bed right here. I don't even have to clear the dungeon. What do we got here? Bounded and bandit. Okay, yeah, two-handed bandit outlaw warrior. This guy has steel instead. I don't stand a chance. Possibly they could follow me outside and attack the, oh, this is risky. Maybe I just hang out on the pole here. Okay, you gotta chill with the power attacks. Just take your flame damage, stay on the pole. Ow. Archer cheating, cowardice. That was a good play. One hit. Nice. He's going to go down to a knee very soon here. Woo! No! He got the power attack in. Is the arrow going to hit me? He's going down to a knee so he can take cover on the pole again. That was really close. Whew. Stumble a bit. What do you mean? Did you say how or why? The answer of why is clear. How? Power of the gods main character stuff you wouldn't understand yeah, let's try it i'm gonna get attacked out of the loading screen he missed somehow saber cat missed a little bit of separation here go by a little bit of time saber cat charges in stumbles and take a bow so i'll be able to get some damage from oh you know it's gonna be a decent play when we get the Targe of the Blooded, if we bash with the shield, it applies bleed. We take the shield away and we punch a little bit. Maybe not. We might just have to still focus on using restoration to keep our stamina up while continually bashing. Warm, <gasps> warm drinks, warm Good to see you again. How would you like to hire a brave, if untested, mercenary? Y'all didn't tell me I had to pay 500 gold. Where do you get off thinking that you can start demanding a price? You're a complete rookie. You're not, you, you're an intern. You don't have the experience or the resume within 24 hours to demand that kind of, also our iron, iron armor is the best you could do. Sure, I'm a little green, but what I lack in experience, I make up for in courage. Okay, so there you go. Your youth and inexperience, to me, that says you shouldn't be charging 500. That's crazy. That's the same price that Mercurio pays. And while our relationship is in shambles and we no longer, well, I never loved Mercurio. Okay, let's be real. Not at all. Mercurio is like a fully trained, powerful mage. 500 gold. Uh, Belrind. Not gonna lie, Belrind sucked. He charged way too much. Not worth 500 gold. But like, that, that, that just seems kind of crazy to me. And I only have, I only have 93 gold. I need to make more. Here, take a look at this. Kill the giant? Men came by and left this bounty litter. Sleeping tree camp. I think I can do that. I think I can kill a giant. Wait, is the giant inside the cave? If I can't get the giant outside the cave, I don't know if I could kill one in close quarters. As soon as he goes hostile, he's going to launch into an attack. There's, there's combat. He's pissed. Chest is free. Oh my gosh, 326. And tree rings. Tree rings is huge. Sleeping tree sap health is increased by 100. Let's drink it. Not as close as I thought. Don't mind the giant. 
We don't care about the giant. I don't know what he's doing. Is he kicking dirt? Gold. Tree rings. Take that. Oh, yeah. He sold his message. He sold her. Don't try to stiff me. Talk to Yasolda about sleeping tree sap. Just bring the sap to me and white run like we discussed. Perhaps we could. Oh, this is going to get rid of our armor. Don't let this guy see us. Maybe we're able to deliver this to Yasolda. We take that, leave the armor. We go outside, drop the sap, go back to the cave. Armor's back on. We can now carry the tree sap all the way to white run. I think in order to fight the giant, I'd have to get up on that rock. I might be able to get up on that rock. However, if I die now, I lose a significant amount of gold and I'm very close to hiring Eric. I'll lose about 80 gold. I'm going to try it once. Do you think he can hit me? Ooh, what's okay. Hold on. Oh, please just stay right there. If we can whittle him down, come on. Yes, yes, we just got to jockey him back and forth. Back and forth. Sorry about this, Greg. I, I know we're friends. We're friends. We've had some good adventures together. I really don't want to kill you, but I will. I wish I had Entomb. Oh, damn it. I need to bring back Entomb. Then we could just drop him in the middle of Whiterun. We go back to Rorikstead. We grab Eric. We reach. We get the Targe of the Blooded. And we finally have our build. Or at least a lot of it. This is going to take a while, though. That didn't do anything. Yeah, this is going to be better, because then even after he goes behind the corner, he's still going to be taking a little bit of damage. Fuck, man. That sucks ass. I'm not even... No, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> like, damn. That really sucks. And our armor is nowhere to be seen. It's like, as soon as we discovered a more efficient way to kill him his brain clicked on him he was like oh no i can yeah i can kill this yeah yeah no we're good <laughs> we'll figure it out Woo. fuck the tree sap fuck you sold us quest fuck this whole challenge <laughs> yeah i mean we can perform it in in and make like 30 gold it still doesn't really get us there i know what to do i know what to do somebody in chat probably yelled this at me and apologies for missing it after I dropped my vampire armor and killed those enemies, I should carry it. We sell that and then boom, we have our follower who is going to die within what, 12 seconds? Hold on, we might've just stumbled on a really good find. Come on, please just give me like 200 gold flat. That one, okay, I think there's one more. There's always three. <laughs> that's just come on that is such a joke okay we leave the armor out here we hit fort graymore i'm not really looking for kills xp would be nice we mostly want to just get the rewards chest which i think we can kind of fast track our way there what was that? pop through here what do you mean what was that obviously it's an intruder no way who <gasps> Bear trap right in the middle of that hallway. That should be an automatic hit. We got one hit on him. Two? How is he alive? Unless it just straight up did no damage. What was that? Okay. Somebody pushed from behind. I'm going to wait for an hour and pray that the guy with the two-handed isn't immediately inside that door. Back to our shield. Go inside. There's like seven enemies in this next room. Oh. Okay, that wants to pop off. Let's get one of them. Come on. You got this. You want a real fight, eh? If he wants to be stuck on that chair, then I'll take advantage now, or as soon as I can. Let's just slowly kill him. Go down. Thank you. Come on, rewards chest. Are you fleeing? Are you what? No, 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 I'm sorry. 
You're not. No. No more. I use. I use. That's cowardice. Ooh. Oh, oh my. 1200. I'm taking it. Paralysis. Oh my God. Am I a one handed build? Did we just witness? No, that's not what a goon is. Okay. Grow up. Let's, yeah, let's get air. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no. I feel like I have to get this to a follower. If we give Eric an axe that can paralyze people, that's just huge. I would I would absolutely consider giving the follower filled soul gems to keep using this weapon. I would consider that as an upgrade and not storing, you know, items like we've outlawed. Pretty sure that they don't use soul gems. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna have to figure this out. Yeah, I don't think they can. Regardless, 450 gold. I'm so I'm still really salty about not getting the giant bounty. That's frustrating. Finally. It just feels right somehow. Having this new life as an adventurer. It's what I was meant to do. I'm getting sick of this guy. Like, okay, this guy, he just entered his new phase, his new hobby. And he's obsessed with it. I just hate that we're caught out here in the middle of nowhere. Nice work, Eric. Way to not say anything. We're starting him off hot with some new lessons. Is Eric next on the chopping block? I wouldn't call it a chopping block. I would call it the heroism circle. Imagine I just get a notification here that says Eric has died. Hell yeah, the armor is still here. And Eric's here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna peruse through this dungeon real quick. I think we're gonna be able to get Eric some gear upgrades. Eric, you ready? Why are you, I don't know why you're looking at me, Eric. Don't watch me. I thought you were a professional at this. It's why I hired you. Holy crap, Eric's gonna get the shit kicked out of him. Uh, he's got decent health still. Let's just make sure. Oh, it worked. Okay, the paralyzation works. And when they die, they look frozen, which is kind of funny. That's a big upgrade. Beautiful. Now you look like a warrior. Get off. Ooh, big time damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Focus on the guy right in front of you. Let's just focus one enemy at a time. Let's take this guy out in front of us. Keep healing hands on so we can help him. Okay, okay, that's a shitload of damage. Nice, got him paralyzed. Was that a one hit kill? Just straight to my forehead? What's going on with this game, dude? This shit is too hard. The hell are you talking about not necessary? Just hurry up and shoot them. Oh, it's an okay. He's got an orcish sword. That's why he's kicking so much ass. I'm dead. No, don't. Uh, I probably have to go vampire lord at some point, which I don't want to do. Just because it feels like cowardice. <laughs> as dumb as that might be. Please paralyze somebody, Eric. Please paralyze somebody. For the love of God, I need it to happen now. Rotate. Stun the archer if we can, and then go back to pop some healing onto Eric. Archer's gonna hit me. Okay, he's almost got one dead. I'll finish him off. Focus on paralyzing Chad, Eric. You have a good amount of health left. We're in decent shape here, but we gotta make one more good play. There we go. There's the paralyzed. All right, we got Putrefy in both of them, so they take some passive damage. That guy's way too much health. Holy shit, he's tanky. Uh, but he paralyzed again. Take advantage. Nice. We Why? Okay, we're gonna go back and save. I'm going back inside. We definitely can't take on that fight outdoors. Yeah. Yeah, fuck that battle up top. Did somebody say that choking grasp stacks? It does. Now let's fucking cook. We'll get to Dawnstar. We'll find the dungeon. It's gonna be okay. YouTube loves when you suffer. Maybe. I mean, like, look, I don't, I don't mind it at times. I, I've talked about it a few times. Like, if if I die, and I understand the context of it, and I go. Yeah, that was probably a pretty funny one. Then, like, I don't mind it. Some of them on this challenge have been a little, you know, like, come on. I, 
Oh, some, some of them have been a bit frustrating. Where's Eric? Oh God, no, not right now. Okay, let's try strangulation. Maybe it's dope. Looks like it hits decently. I'm not getting. So we get a double hit there. Okay, Ice Wolf damage. Not crazy. And we get all of our health back right after getting hit. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. I am viable. <laughs> okay, we're back. I gotta get inside. Alt hand. That's how you say it. Alt hand. Oh, boy. I have to get inside before Eric dies. This isn't good. The, the glacier ruins aren't going to be any warmer. Okay, he followed us in, though. That's good, at least. I'm so screwed. <laughs> I'm so absolutely screwed in here. Joke doesn't work on Thomas. Oh, I know. We'll be all right. Eric, you doing okay? All right, so we're going to go flame cloak left, right hand open, because the left hand punch is awkward. Ah, I forgot he does good damage. Should have known. Eric, please come paralyze this man. Ah, good. Thank you. Right on time. Good shit, Eric. Your father would be so proud of you right now. I'm proud of you. You're way better than Benor. Ah, oh, no, they're roly boys. <laughs> okay. Uh, they're roly boys. That's a problem. Stone flesh is about to run out for me as well, so I immediately start this fight off with a little bit of a disadvantage. Eric looks like he did pretty solid damage, though, on that one. He's almost got one dead. Come on, buddy. I think that's one down. Nice, nice, nice. Push, Eric, push. Come on, Eric. You want to be an adventurer? That's what I'm talking about, Eric. That's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about, Eric. That's why I love you. Okay, you and me, we're getting through this dungeon, all right? All the outside noise, the chatters, talking shit, the people who think that you and I are both gonna die, m more than likely just you, because I can save and have checkpoints, I'm the main character and all that. We don't listen to the outside noise. We just focus, you and me, all the way to the end, we got this, buddy. Ooh. No, 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 I have to get in there. I'm getting in. I don't know if I'm getting out. <laughs> but I'm getting into that room. Eric, you want to learn what strong will get in? You want to learn what strong will is? Determination? It keeps like pushing to the side of my character. Oh man, we're like right there. Oh my, come on, your whole head was through. Finish the job. I think the way we get through is we flip this round, flip around, <clears throat> flip there. Okay, okay. This song is five minutes. By the time it ends, if I'm not in there, I'll quit. So you think if I push him in? Oh, whoa, 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 hold on. Yo, we might have some sauce here. This would be insane if he somehow clips through and unlocks it. Oh my God, he's in. Oh my God, he's in, he is in the room. Okay, wh what happens now? What? I have never gotten this far. E Eric, everything's gonna be okay. I don't think he's going to unlock it. I think he's going to teleport through. Order him to do something. I can't even talk to him. What do you need? What do you need? Okay, got it. Can't do that. I'm sorry. Oh, he teleported through. Oh my goodness. Come on. Eric, why don't you push me in? Wait a minute, hold on, I have an idea. Whoops. Oh, no way! <laughs> My only chance goes through, but not me? Okay. That was worth a try. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's better with two-handed. The paralyzation isn't gonna help us right now. God, uh, honestly, I'm better with two-handed. I should just give, <laughs> I should just start swinging this thing. We have to think immediate need. Immediate solution, immediate need. But by rule, we can't store the axe on him. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take the axe with us. He doesn't have a helmet. I don't care if it looks ugly, Eric, no complaining. Put the helmet on. How do you even see through that thing? Is it like a kaleidoscope? I think he's gonna struggle to hit the spiders, but for the big guys, he's gonna hit hard. Okay, we got a roly boy. One at a time, come on down. What a hit. 
To all my two-handed haters out there, I think you've uh, been proven wrong. We just can't lose track of it. We start fighting organic enemies. Although, damn, I, I am going to lose this thing every single time. It's hard to find each time. Absolutely massive. Oh, I, I don't know what to do. Okay, can we give the necklace to Eric? Dwarven Battle Axe of Consuming. Uh, I, it's gonna have the exact same attack pattern as the last one. This one comes with Absorb Health. Eric, you take it. Orcish Scaled, and it's, oh, is that an upgrade for Eric? Is that an upgrade? I think it, mm, possibly, <laughs> I don't know. I think so, I mean, it's light armor. He might be better in heavy armor, but this might be a little bit better. It could be good for you. It could be, it, it has a little bit more protection, but the vampire armor, the the buff that it gives me to regen is really good. Eric is light armor. Yes! Now it's coming together! You are the hero of this journey, not me. His heavy armor is only level 15. His light armor can scale to 100. Okay. Boom. Take him. Throw him on. No questions asked. He puts him on. Okay, orcish scaled. He doesn't want to wear. Whatever. Give him back the steel plate. He looks really goofy in those boots. This outfit looks awesome. <laughs> I love Eric. He looks like an action figure. Unofficial patch makes him heavy armor and one-handed proficient. And I swear, you know, so there's some shit in the unofficial patch. It's like, why? Who gives a fuck? Spider, not the worst possible outcome. I don't have enough magic. I can't cast flame cloak anymore. No. No, 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 Eric, Eric for... He's gravely injured, but he will recover in 14 days. Okay, I gotta be 100% honest. It feels good that, uh, you know, I think we're done with the automatons. They didn't really do a whole lot. He technically can't wear the helmet anymore, at least for the next two weeks. God, where the fuck did I put the lockpicks? Have I ever told you all that I hate this game? <laughs> my glasses. I can't, I can't adventure without my glasses. Oh, 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 I found him. Now, hopefully there's something in here. Whole lot of nothing. Man, I don't know. I'll put the lockpicks like right here, right by that lever. Yo, <laughs> yo, you, you gotta, you gotta give me a break game. Okay, I'll grab the lockpicks again. I'll carry them down the ramp. If I drop the lockpicks off this ledge, uh, the, the, what now? Why is the spider gotta attack now? I can't drop the lockpicks. They'll, they'll, okay. I'm gonna carefully set the lockpicks <laughs> down right there. This is very stupid. We'll make sure Eric doesn't die. Grab the lockpicks again. I'm gonna need a mod that just makes lockpicks bright green. Oh, that's just beautiful. I mean, that's the kind of performance you look for. Let's not, a. Hey, let's not let the lockpicks get too crazy now. Lockpicks on the table. Oh my goodness. Okay, the, the, it's so sad skipping on all of this loot that is objectively amazing. Can I do a master lock in three? Medium connection, correction right. And the loot is ass. The loot is ass. It's not good. The loot's not good. Uh, it's trash. It's actually very bad. Not even an enchanted elven war axe. We already have that. Dynamo core, is that worth it at all? Honest to God, this dungeon might just be the end game. <laughs> this, this dungeon might just have to be the final boss of this challenge. And genuinely, we might have to part one, part two, this one. It's getting way too big. I have to leave Eric here. I quite literally cannot trust Eric to walk down this slope. It feels like for this challenge though, the dungeons have been elite. I'm gonna leave my armor here. We'll pick it up when we get back to the dungeon. I'm gonna take that necklace, it's worth 830. We're gonna take it back to town. Hold on, let's make sure we get our armor somewhere, like right here. Leave the armor, take the necklace, that's cash money, 830. I'm already out here freezing my nips off. Is Winterhold closer than Dawnstar? So Winterhold may be closer than Dawnstar, but I don't really know how to get there. 
and we have such a limited window of time to hopefully not die i do like this though i'm not gonna lie I, all right it feels like we're back we started off this stream a little rocky okay took some time to find our element there's a locked door on the side of this if i can find a lockpick i gotta go for it seems like a pretty big risk we have a storm cloak camp right here this has to be the checkpoint that i take on the way to the dungeon i may be able to get a horse from here as well sorry sorry imperial camp oh yeah they got horses here we'll steal a horse on the way this is the route we gotta take boom this is why i love this shit okay so we got dungeon here way too cold this part of the map is miserable why has 90 percent of this entire playthrough by the way been in the coldest sections of the map that's okay we got a little bit of a route though we'll get back to the town we'll sleep there we'll get some money from this necklace possibly buy an upgrade for eric jesus am i already back to freezing this is crazy actually when we stopped grinding you know jumping up and down in the fire pit healing ourselves. I'm going to have to actually jump in the fire pit here. Otherwise, I'm going to get hypothermia, which I think lasts like a day or two. Oh, my God. It actually happened. It fucking happened. No way, dude. <laughs> I can't. There you go. There's your damn gold. I knew it, too. As soon as I looked down, it, it was a habit. I, I was thinking of when we were grinding and we had to, like, jump up and down in the fire pit a bunch. Oh my god. It came full circle too. Of course we have to die there. I think this might be our best way of just pretty quickly making some cash. Honestly, I wish this is what it was like in the normal game. When you mine, the ore just pops out like that. It looks satisfying. Look at that, and it rolls. It's like a Rube Goldberg. I like how I showed up to the mine, outclassed everybody in terms of work ethic, speed, determination, drive. I already got my retirement plan. I'm out of there. 401k is stuck to the brim. We'll never forget the one day we hired that random Khajiit. I have never seen somebody strip mine like that. It was a genocide of rock and stone. Okay, I guess I'll just, I'll try and level up sneak. That might be the best one to go for. We have to have a combination right now of the vampire armor, the shield, maybe, potentially, I don't know. So where we're at right now, if, if you have no clue what's going on, we're trying to clear out the dungeon off tanned. It's a Dwemer dungeon. We got through all the automaton section of it without dying and without our follower, Eric, dying. We left Eric in the dungeon to hold down the fort because there's a trap. I do not trust him getting past. We're not getting XP. Fuck. So right now what we're doing is we came all the way back to town because we were so low on food, sleep, all that stuff. Came back to Dawnstar on foot, barely made it, barely survived. We're going to be fully well rested. We'll leave at 10 p.m. We got our level up. It's all coming together. Shanfrey, our goal right now is to uh, we want to finish up off tanned. That's that's uh, that's our short term goal is just to clear that dungeon. My personal goal, I want to get through it without dying. Oh, nice. OK, we can sleep here if needed. We'll hang out on the fire. Let's warm up. Stay sharp. I'm just playing. The kind of car you have has no effect on your anatomical uh, makeup. All right, let's go. Come on, horsey. We got to go save Eric. And what's wonderful about this is that the horse will return to its natural habitat of that camp. So then even on our return trip, we go back to the camp, we steal the horse, quickly get to Dawnstar. I can't wait to go back into this dungeon and for some fucked reason, Eric has teleported and now he's standing directly on top of a trap. Oh, uh, Eric, I is so good to see you. But I think I should have waited two weeks in Dawnstar. As dumb as that sounds, I think I should have waited two weeks in Dawnstar till his injury was gone. My number one hope is that we can find him a shield sometime soon. It'd be great if we could pull like a dwarven shield. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not fall. Oh, my God. The armor. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, I can see the armor. <laughs> it's a little bit far down there, but I can see it. Oh, shoot. Okay, good catch, Eric. Let's see what damage we got here. Please don't fall. Is he going to fall? I'm afraid to move. Okay, Falmer. We just have to think about this. All of this is dependent, though, on whether or not an arrow will kill me in one hit. Ooh. We go there, we go putrefy. Ooh. Huge. Okay, gr no, Eric's down. He fell. Sorry, one sec. We're gonna wait here for a sec. Really? 
Sis, you gotta show up right fucking now with the garage and the background noise and everything. We're stressed. Eric might be dead. Dude, if he's dead because he fell and got caught on a little ledge, I'll be really, really disappointed. Like, that would be such a bummer. I might consider, I would actually consider reloading. <laughs> Please be alive. Please just don't be dead. Don't be dead. Falmer, Falmer Skulker, that's gonna hit pretty hard. We need to fall back. I need unrelenting force. I can eat one. Huge. Confirmed. We can eat one arrow from a skulker. That's actually big news. Oh no, no. Did the armor get knocked off? I think someone might have knocked the armor off the ledge. It might have fallen even further. We're doing pretty well so far though. There's the armor. Trip. We're good. We're good. We're good. Everybody relax. I don't necessarily need the armor right now, but holy crap, I can't believe we still have it. Oh my god, he's in the middle of fighting right now. He's all the way at the bot. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Eric has been at the bottom of the pit, obliterating the- Oh my god, this is insanity. He's got an archer just wide of him. This is totally cheating just because it's surveillance. I don't care. Where am I? I'm one level up. The game wants me to go to the game wants the game wants me to go through a loading screen to get down to him he's only got one falmer left can he kill them should we watch eric try to win this fight or do we try to jump and save him this is too much eric i'm coming i'm coming eric <gasps> Missed. He paralyzed. He paralyzed. How in the fuck are you alive? Kiss me. Kiss me, you Nordic bastard. I cannot believe he fell. <laughs> like, how did he fall the whole way? I mean, blessing in disguise? He took out Frostbite Spider, Skulker, Falmer, regular. Now those aren't the most impressive kills on the planet, but he lived. He had to have, it, paralyzation, he had to have gotten him a few times. That's massive, this, this axe is huge. Right. This thing might last the entire dungeon. Okay, well now we have to take this on in the reverse fashion. Okay, swinging. Might be able to use that to my advantage. That's just big time. All right, we got a big room of enemies in here. I think we get Eric posted up in this room. So he's kind of out of the fight. The trap goes off. Hopefully the enemies that survive the trap push past the trap. That's what everything comes down to. If we have Eric posted up in here and he's not aggroed until they kind of come to this meeting point here, then we have them. Then we absolutely have them. Especially, it, it depends on like the numbers that they have, how many of them come into the hallway. But if we get to that point, I'm gonna put Flame Cloak back on Akados. So now we're storing Flame Cloak automatically. We get it for free at the beginning of a fight. That's all that does is give us a huge buff. That's good. Oh my gosh! And I'm forgetting about Strangulation. That's a really powerful spell and I haven't used it once. Every single room in this dungeon is like its own puzzle. So then at the beginning of combat, we're gonna get both a health buff and extreme health buff. It's only temporary. St okay, okay, all right. That, you cooked. I gotta give you that one, that's, that's sick. We're gonna open up with a stealth putrefy play. Soften them up a little bit. And we're gonna take this very methodically, very slowly as we try to lead them back into this room. I will jump in front of this trap to die in Eric's place if it comes down to that. We wanna, okay, so of these two, this one on the right is the most powerful. Uh, of, of these two, this one is the more powerful by far. If he gets into the hallway too, he's probably gonna be using a staff that shoots out lightning bolts. If he gets into the hallway, is he gonna be stuck at the far end trying to shoot us? thus bringing Eric into the trap. We could do the cloud. You know what, and maybe, 
maybe we do as a single cast to open up combat maybe we start maybe we start with death cloud it looks like we could hit both it's gonna cost 53 that's not an incredibly expensive spell to throw out also because we're gonna get flame cloak tree rings all that right away Ooh, we could eat a few hits at the start of combat we might be able to keep eric in that back room i think we can kill them both right now and i'm gonna go for it looks like we got him with it and it looks like he's just falmer he's nothing more than that but he's gonna have magic all those buffs look at that boom all of them on at one time just to open up the fight all right mage down there we go two down finally i get restoration xp took you long enough now hold on time out time out why, why is it so quiet that's it i thought there'd be a little bit more than just two getting him through that trap is a puzzle in and of itself so let's just go through this room real quick without him make sure we get anything good couple of lock picks we like having lock picks hey what's that hey i don't like that i don't like that what's that turret doing up there Wait a minute. Wait, it's a novice. It doesn't break that quickly. Who changed the rules? By, by what metric? I don't know if I've ever been fucked like that. I didn't enjoy it. I don't know why I would use tower there. And see, that's just greed. Okay, all right, all right, they're in. They are in the battle now, got it. Like, I don't think any of my spells can hurt this thing. Yeah, resisted. He's gonna be pissed. His giant steam, his his shout, that's gonna kill us right away. Oh my god, there's another locked chest there. And it's Apprentice and I wasted the tower on a novice! Don't you love when the consequences of your actions greet you swiftly? You know, they don't show up late to the party or nothing. They're there on time. They're actually quite excited to show up and make you look like a dumbass. Theoretically, I could do decent damage if I punched him. It's just not worth the risk of pushing that gate. I want to get through this dungeon flawlessly. This is the equivalent of tickling someone to death. Yeah, it's like the equivalent of, uh, it's like water torture or I don't know. If you wanted to slowly kill somebody by dropping a spoon on top of their head from a relatively low height, he just looks, he does look a little annoyed. Like he's like, ah, come on. Let me through. Now, Skyrim's version of the let me in meme, well, that was earlier. We handled that earlier trying to get through a fence. God, I love video games. And now problem number two is getting Eric through the trap room without him getting his dumb ass killed. I think I know what we could do, though. Hear me out. I think this is how we get him through. Okay. <laughs> we'll just move him around like a chess piece. Fuck yeah, man. That was sick, Eric. All right, Eric, you and me till the end. Damn, I'm already starving again. This sucks. They gotta have, maybe I missed it. Do they have any food? <gasps> Dwarven shield. That's a huge upgrade for Eric. We just gotta get him through this fight. All of our stuff activated. They're gonna fight each other, which means they're a bit distracted. Okay, they didn't hit as hard and I'm lucky that that fireball missed. I think I continue just pushing and fighting him. Okay, wait, is that the shield? Oh my God, wait, that's the shield. No, no way, we're there. Come on, come on, come on, we're almost there. Yeah. Kick ass. Oh my God. I cannot believe I just let that go through. Oh, finally. Finally. Honestly, a little bit of an underwhelming battle to finally get this, but hold on. We have some good upgrades here for you, Eric. Let's go shield, take it. Steel plate, you already have that. I mean, this is mine, obviously. I can't believe this guy's alive. After falling down that pit, I can't believe he made it. Let me just get my boy home. Let me get Eric back to safety. Oh shit, I'm out of magic. And then Eric comes in and he stuns him. Oh, and he's out. He's down for the count. Fuck him up, Eric. Beat his ass. Get his ass. Okay, now we're getting it. It's coming together a little bit. We could probably pass off that dungeon as a finale. It was really epic. 
Eric falling all the way down to the bottom of the pit. That was insane. Come on, Eric. What are you doing? What are you standing over there for? Get your head out of your ass. Let's move. We got to marry. Wait, can you marry Eric? You know what? We're Let's do that. Whoa! Oh, no, no. Wait, no, no. Wait, I was just professing my love. Not a bad ending.